Welcome back, everybody, to another Moon Market IPO stream. And in this one, we're bringing you Starbucks ticker STBX in this one. So, everybody, welcome to the stream. As you're piling in, drop a like. I know we're going to be able to get this one to a significant amount of likes. And I appreciate everybody that drops a like. Welcome to the stream. There's a few things that have already happened this morning. And one of them is GCT currently did break above the VWAP again. So I ended up adding at 35.50 on GCT. A little bit at 35.50. That's personally what I did. You know, I could be totally uh, wrong on that because there is room to fall still till around 26 bucks for GCT. but. I did ha go ahead and add it 3550 personally. APRN is hitting new highs. We hit another new high, $7.11 for APRN. And we're sitting at 688, up 12% in the pre market after running 26% on a significantly bloody day. So a lot of stuff has happened already. And yeah, so GCT did come off the lows. I added it 3550. Not telling you all to do so at all. This could continue to crash, but that's what I did, and I'm willing to take the loss. And as, as you can see, it's already break, trying to break back below the VWAP. So just be keep in mind, and everybody keep in mind that all of these IPOs are extremely risky, and you could lose all your money in them, but there has been a lot of money to be made in them recently, so we continue to go ahead and see what we can do with them. So news just in on one of these stocks, SYBX was granted FDA fast track designation for treatment. I also had EVEX news. There was an FDA fast track on what the ticker is, SYBX at a 69 million market cap. Just to put that out there. So welcome to the stream, everybody. Mark Alexander, I appreciate you coming in and hitting that member button right off the bat. It's going to be a really, really wild stream today. STBX has turned out to be one of the one of the most hyped IPOs that we have seen in a while. Maybe the most uh, hype wise. Doesn't mean it's going to be the best one at all. Does not mean it's going to be the best one at all. But it does mean it's going to be very volatile extremely volatile and it reminds me a lot like um megl in a lot of different ways in a lot of different ways i'm awake today everybody so if this is really exciting i'm gonna be just like i was with gct where i was on my toes going crazy well water kid said do you have a paid platform on discord yep we do in fact have a let me go ahead and switch to this already. Do in fact have a Discord if anybody is interested in this Discord. You know, we're giving out stock alerts, you know, uh, uh, moon long alert, server alert, stock baller calls where we have multiple stock ballers that also call out plays besides only me. So we can get a bunch of different ideas flowing. And then obviously the profit or loss lately it has only been profit. I mean, 15 grand for this guy, 10 grand for this guy. And we can just keep going on forever for the GCT gains. Uh, the GCT gains were just something that probably a lot of us will never forget in our life. Hopefully the Starbucks gains will be very similar. Yo, what's up? Habs fan said, good morning, DG. What's up, dude? Bonji said, good morning, man. Thanks for the work you do for us. Ellen F. Kwan. Oh, you're, yeah, you haven't received your shares yet because nobody has yet. Trust me, we'll, we'll all know when we receive our shares. We'll all know instantly. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Everybody in the chat will be telling us. And hopefully it's a decent bit. I've, I'm afraid that it's going to be, once again, not many shares. So I have a feeling it's not going to be that many shares this time. Like once again, because this one has probably had even more pre-orders because they cut off the pre-order for this one two or three days. I think It might have been three days. But as far as I know, it was at least two days they cut it off. 
completely just cut that stuff off. But what but really fast while everybody's in here, while everybody's coming in here, let's just mention the next IPO. So everybody's prepared. Whoa, we're getting a lot of OTC news. Uh nothing good though. No good OTC. Let me fix my OTC news. All right, never mind. It's already fixed. All right, everybody. So this IPO today, this is going to be the IPO today, obviously. But I, but next IPO is going to also be ticker JZ, which is Friday this week. You can still pre-order this one. The hype's already building. So it's probably going to be another one of them where it's going to be hard to get shares on the pre-order, but you might as well if you really, really want to. Um, I put a 5,000 in, I might up it. I mean, it might not be worth as it up it cause it might just lock up my money and it won't do much, but it's going to be five to $7, probably on the $7 range on this one I'm feeling. So definitely not going to get this many shares, probably going to get five at the most, but it's expected to hit the market on a Friday, the 26th, August 26th. And if you all really really need a spot to to pre-order these ipos we bull is literally by far the best out of all of them right now they literally are just on top of the ipo game so when you're on top of the ipo game then we should go ahead and uh give them some love so i'm gonna link that really fast because i know a lot of people always ask where do i buy these ipos there, there's that you get 12 free stocks and you get to pre-order IPO. So I'm going to pin that at first and then I'll pin the discord later. So at the top pin comment, you can get 12 free stocks. Where to buy Starbucks. It's right there. Weeble. And you can trade 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can trade right now, for example. And by the way, for people coming in, might've been a bad move, but I saw, I saw it breaking over the VWAP. And it's right now it is. I bought GCT at 3550. So who knows if it's gonna really come back like that? But this this is one of the stronger IPOs out there. So I I really if it does come back, I'll I'll want my shares. But don't don't tie your money up in that. It's up to you. This none of this is financial advice. Remember, this is just entertainment. Just complete entertainment. But with the Jay-Z IPO is the underwriter, the underwriter. So we know about AMTD Digital, AKA HKD, HKD. I know you, you're thinking about AMTD, the ticker, but AMTD Digital is also HKD. Which was a recent IPO that ran from $15 to $250. And this is what started all this IPO hype. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be sitting here streaming this right now if it wasn't for um, ticker HKD that did this from the start. So HKD IPO'd as a company on the U.S. market, but HKD, aka the company name is AMTD Digital, does underwriting for IPOs. They do. And I remember hearing about that when they initially IPO'd. Somebody was like, they, they do underwriting, you know? But nobody thought that they're gonna do an under they're gonna be the underwriter for one of these IPOs very soon. Well they are. And that's ticker Jay-Z. So just that alone is gonna get people people's eyes on this a lot. And, you know, it's gonna probably be another one of them. Absolute an underwriter basically, they decide, you know, all all of this kind of stuff here. Hold on. They, they facilitate the IPO and they decide like, for example, Starbucks is listing at 5,000 ordinary shares at an offering price of $4. The underwriter is going to help decide, you know, should they do 5,000, 6, or 5, 5 million, 5 million, 6 million, 7 million, 10 million ordinary shares at what price? They're going to probably help decide what the ticker is going to be if it's a new company just hitting the market unless they already decided that themselves, they're going to decide, you know, how much the offering is going to be, you know, they're going to just decide the float, the price, all that kind of stuff. That's pretty much what the underwriter does. They just get it listed. They're the ones that get it listed up. 
And HKD is going to be doing that for Jay-Z. So that's going to be extremely interesting to see how it all plays out. Very, very interesting. And uh, like, uh, like, similar to J- J- uh, GCT, they have good revenue and good profit. But Jay-Z is even an even, uh, it's not a lower float, but it is, it is a lower price. So it's not a lower float, but it's a lower price. It's similar to the price of, you know, MEGL, but a little bit higher, actually. A little bit higher than MEGL. So this is going to, so that's definitely going to be one of the more interesting ones we've ever seen. Uh, it doesn't seem like these IPOs are slowing down at all right now. So we're going to continue to make money off of them while we can. And right now, the market is up slightly, barely. It's basically flat right now. SPY is basically flat. That's what I used to gauge the market. Uh, and it's completely flat. So today we got the Starbucks IPO. Um, a lot of you already do know the information about this one. And of course, we're going to be looking at news if there's any big news. I'm interested just to go back to that other one and see if the trade. Nope. See, not all FDA approval is going to make a stock fly. You know, it might take a while. But this just went up and then fell right, right away. So be, always be careful with those news runners. No, I don't have a specific price target for uh, STBX today. We're just see how it goes at open. I mean, it could be one of the wild, one of the really wild ones. Remember, so MEGL. This is the first IPO. This is the first China IPO. Probably the first IPO with Network One Financial Securities as the underwriter. And guess who had that underwriter as well? Our good old friend that made us a lot of money. If you played it right, made me a lot of money. Made me almost as much money as GCT, but GCT definitely made me more money. But this one also, MEGL also had the book runner, aka underwriter, as Network One Financial Securities. And a lot of people, that's why a lot of people were so hyped about STBX to begin with. I'm hyped about it. I'm a lot more awake today, so it's going to be crazy. And GCT is trying to break over the VWAP right now. Keep in mind, GCT still up there. So it does have a lot more room to fall. But it'll be interesting to see how it reacts today. Right now, we're waiting. And we'll uh, basically be showing you all how, how many shares I get off of a 10K pre-order soon. There's a lot of stocks are going around in the Discord. A lot of people are talking. Some people are talking about TGL as a sympathy. Did, I'm I'm wondering exactly why. At the first time I heard that. Did they also have the same underwriter? I don't I don't know. If this is going to be a sympathy. I'm looking at it real quick. TGL didn't have a write up by that dude on here. Underwriter. Who is the TGL underwriter? Finance Network. Not 100% sure why people are saying that's going to be the sympathy. What do you mean before going? Starbucks will be opening at basically. Whenever they can get it on there after market open, as soon as they can get it on there after 9.30 a.m. I think uh, Weeble's going to do a good job of listing this one today. So I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about what happened with GCT, to be honest. I, you never know, but I think we're good. Just make sure everybody's dropping a like as they come in. We're currently sitting at 500 viewers uh, pretty early in the stream, only ten, about 10 minutes in the stream. So let's get that like to a significant, significantly more amount. We're at 117 likes, 500 viewers, and I know we can easily get this one to 1,000 before 
it opens. Because Starbucks is a little bit wild. A little bit wild. And we can see how wild it's going to be. I'm probably going to buy if I can. I mean, if this one's anything like MEGL, it's going to be extremely difficult to buy. Don't do what I do. Everybody, remember, I'm just an entertainer doing this for entertainment purposes, but I'll just basically tell you all, you know, I'm going to do this. I have my iPad right here. So I'll have cash ready. I'll probably have a lot more cash ready after they uh, don't, don't give me all my shares. SMMT, this is the former runner from yesterday. SMMT, former runner from yesterday. Apparently, they're get, yes, they are getting some volume. You can see the MACD is curling up on there, and the RSI is rising on SMMT. Not sure what the news was here. It's like, people are piling into random stocks that have no news. It's just technical runs. Bottom out runs, which is... Uh, not surprising because there were so many small caps that absolutely tanked. And they got to get back to their true value at some point. Hasn't been a lot of OTC new, like news news lately that from our, from our companies, but there's been a lot of OTC moves. Not a lot of news, but a lot of moves. Like GEGI, they've had tweets, and, but they've been moving, but no, no news yet. HVCW have has had news. I think Eyeless is gonna wait. I I think Eyeless would be smart. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know what they're gonna do, but I think they would be smart to wait for the gap fill to put out any news, in my opinion. Cause man, if they put it, let's imagine Eyeless put out news like the day of the gap fill, boom. Do I stream every morning? I've been streaming every morning for, for these IPOs that have been absolutely killing it lately. Absolutely killing it. For anybody that needs a place to discuss Starbucks uh, besides just here, obviously you can do it in the chat, but you know, for every IPO in the Discord, we create you know, a chat. So you see with STBX, we deleted MEGL because once uh, it dies off, there's no point of having a chat. And then we still have GCT up. And then we have the regular IPO chat. And then all our OTC stocks. And then, you know, we might create an APRN room or something like that in the Discord. But that's just an extra spot to talk. STBX IPO today just got alerted on my platform here, Trade Exchange. So, getting on even more eyes. <clears throat> Let's run this really fast, everybody. Um, if you all don't mind, it's up to you. Go ahead and un share the tweet, I mean the stream, on Twitter. Already had Tim Sykes do it. Appreciate that. If anybody can uh, basically, I'll, Tim Sykes, I'll go ahead and retweet his. So... Just basically copy the link and then use money sign STBX. Share it out there. Going to put more eyes on the play. And it's going to pop off. Maybe. We get lucky. Keep Bark on your radar. You, wow, you're saying... I've heard that too from a very tr trustworthy guy. So... You're not the only one that's saying that, to be honest with you, man. Other people are saying bark as well, so I'm going to have to keep that on, on my watch list, no doubt. Might have to buy some in. So let me see if anybody did go ahead and copy the link and put STBX. Yep, you all are killing it. Thank you all for going ahead and sharing the stream. Claudia G. D. E-M-E-X, a.k.a. Grow Up Dude. FL Dream House. Grabbed iLag as sympathy for STBX. Oh, I didn't mean to copy that. But, uh, yeah, MEGL should be on our watch list as well today. And also, obviously, iLag. 
Uh, they both have... They both have the same underwriter. So MEGL, I like the same underwriter as STBX does today. But STBX is the main play, everybody. You know, GCT, there, we, we tried to play a sympathy, which kind of worked in the be early. It only worked early. But it turned out that GCT was the literal only good play. It was the big dog. So we got to focus on the main play, really, which is Starbucks. Yeah, I did get sleep, dude. I'm actually, like, mostly awake for the most part. Pretty awake. Um, I'm just, you know, obviously it's, 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 it's early, so... Throughout the morning here, I'll wake up even more, but I'm actually a lot more awake than I was on yesterday's stream. Yesterday's stream, I, I will admit, I was feeling really tired, but this time I'm good. I'm 100% good. I took a nap yesterday for a few hours on top of my sleep, so... I'm 100% good. Um, GCT is going to be interesting. The reason I have it up here is because it's, it was actually curling up above the VWAP for a little bit there. I just can't hold it. So it's going to be interesting to see how that... Uh, an APRN, strong. It's really strong on APRN. Really, really strong on APRN. I mean, we've been covering that for a while. And a lot more recently, obviously. I wonder what the... And I wish they would update GCT on Ortex, but they have not yet. MEGL, what is this looking like on Ortex? So on Ortex, this is looking like 2% cost... Or I mean, 2% short interest cost of borrow is not updated currently. Even though you can check the cost of borrow other places, for example. Let me pull up a different spot where we can check cost of borrow. So you can check it here. Let me GL. Cost of borrow 165%. GCT, you can probably check this already. 543% cost of borrow. That's what I'm seeing. I don't this the thing is this is not always 100% accurate usually for the most part i mean i know ortex has messed up a few times ortex is usually on the on the dot with accuracy cuz they're always keeping up with that this that's what they do and you pay for it so if you pay for it you know they're going to not play games with you at least you hope so wow we only have we only we have 600 viewers and only 192 likes i'm surprised you didn't get this to 200 already yeah, I like just moved, a matter of fact. Wow, right when I mentioned that, did you guys just buy instantly? Did you, get, did you all just buy? Because that, that's the first one I mentioned as a sympathy. Did you all just instantly buy? <clears throat> he said yes. So apparently you all just instantly bought. I mean, I don't suggest doing that, but it's up to you. I mean, obviously you just made some money. So I like seems to always be this sympathy play for all these these IPOs. It always seems to be a sympathy. Cause they have the same underwriter and the float. Let's the float is only, you know, eight million. It's not the it's not the lowest we've ever seen. So now you're gonna wanna keep an eye on MEGL as well. Seven point four million float. Let's see if MEGL gets a sympathy now to Starbucks. But remember, Starbucks is the main play, in my eyes at least. It's a one or two day max play. One to two day max play. But it all depends on how it goes. You don't know how it goes. GCT dropped in the beginning, so it turned out to be a longer play. But it really was only a two day play. It turned out to technically be a three day play because it did rip. Absolutely ripped at market open yesterday. <laughs> should I put the music on today again, everybody? I think we should. I think a lot of people liked it. <clears throat> and it's copyright free. Completely copyright free. 
Why am I blanket on the channel? Welcome to the stream, everybody, by the way. Appreciate everybody tuning in. We're already at 600 viewers, only 24 minutes into the stream. We're going to be absolutely on our toes today. We're going to be just freaking going nuts today if this rips. I'm awake, and I'll be even more awake soon. I got my electrolytes, which is a little bit of caffeine, but it's natural caffeine. It's not none of that crap, and it also has you know other electrolytes in it. I, I this is what it is. It's this Vita Fusion Infusions Energy that I that I got here. Electrolytes, vitamin B twelve, and uh, eighty milligrams of caffeine from tea leaves. So that's what I got today. Yeah, stay off that Red Bull, man. I know, it's way better to, to use this in Red Bull by far, and it and honestly works better. Honestly works better. Like, it, it gives you more energy, and you feel better. The Red Bull is even, the Red Bulls are even worse than Monster. So we're gonna slowly get into this here. This is the top gainers of the day. Not nothing no like big time rippers early. I mean I lag just ripped and it's still it just got above the VWAP. Always seems to be a sympathy. A lot of hype for Starbucks today, everybody. Tons of hype for Starbucks. Oh yeah, let's check who ended up sharing the stream. Thank you, Raider Rich. Starbucks is the main play, though. This is the order book for Starbucks. This is a, the chart that's going to pop up when it goes live. Top gainers of the day. Um, GCT chart, APRN chart. Oh, yeah, and then we're going to pull up a little bit of music as well. Music. I mean, it's just chill music. It's not. I don't want to put you to sleep or nothing, but still early, so. But here's the. That's the mu That's where I'm getting the music from, by the way. Because they do, they do want to shout out if you play their music. QTNT. Was that the one I was talking about? No. PS yeah, I'm still in PS PSHG. I don't think GC I will see if GCT rips with STBX. It still might just fall. Even might just people still might just sell and get an STBX instead. That might be the that might be what happens. Or it, it sympathies off. Of, I think it's a strong company still, and I think a lot of people still love it. We can get down to like twenty six. I think twenty five. I mean, if we get back down to IPO price again, I'd buy a, a bunch on GCT if we get down all the way back down there because I remember well hold on so MEGL got down to eight dollars hold on let me check that real quick MEGL got down to all the way down to eight dollars and then ran remember ran a hunt over a hundred percent so that was that half of the initial IPO price so, yeah, so if GCT decides to do the same thing, which is, doesn't mean it will, then it can get down to 20, 
four, you know, around 24, I'd say 25, 25 bucks, which I was just saying anyway, and then rip 100% maybe. So look for a $25 GCT. Look, for, that's what I would be looking for. If it gets lower, then I don't, it might just be GG. If it gets down to IPO price, $12.50, I'd be looking at that, or $12.25, I'd be looking at that again. But 25 might be a solid range for a potential trade. Only like a quick trade, one day trade. One day, a few day trade. I like did rip. Will DNAA? I don't know, dude. Probably not. I don't know any of those. I, I mean, I know what they were when they ran, but once they run like that, man, they're coming back down 90% of the time. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. If I see any big news coming in today, we'll let you know. SPY is up slightly pre-market. Let's see if there's any big world news today that can affect the market. I don't think I heard about much. Rock. Take a rip. It's a large cap. Oh. Right. That's a large cap. Um, the night the Nighthawk one from yesterday dropped news. Remember that they had the monkey packs news. They announced that they build out of an advanced safe out of advanced bio safety level two lab. And remember yesterday they dropped the eight k on the potential monkey pox vaccine. So just letting you know, since that was a play yesterday, there is news coming on. It's just 7.30. Oh, my notifications crap. Well. I guess that is annoying, isn't it? <clears throat> I just do like to have... Guys, by the way, don't buy anything that just has news. Don't buy anything that just has news. It's not a good idea. It has to be good news. Come work your magic. Randy Johnson, good morning, man. Starbucks on, yeah, Starbucks will be on Robinhood when it opens for trading. Should be on every exchange. Why did drug jump? There was no reason why drug jump. I'm let, let me actually. I'm pretty sure something happened about drug. Didn't they put out a PR? D R U G. What's the company name? Bright Minds Biosciences. Investor relations. Let me see. I think they put out a PR saying something about their jump and their stock press. Press releases. Look, remember drug? Remember drug? This is a company. Bright Minds comments on recent trading activity. And it, it, they're issuing a news release in response to a requ request by the Investment Industry Regulator Organization of Canada to comment on its trading activity. The company is not aware of any material undisclosed corporate developments and has no material change in its business or affairs that has not been publicly disclosed that would account for the recent increase in volume or price. So they just said we have no clue or they were forced. I, it seems like they were forced to say that by Canada or but they had no clue why their stock went up, even though they don't, they, 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 they like their stock going up. There's no reason you wouldn't like your stock going up. 
Because if you you just can't just raise more money, there's literally zero reason why you wouldn't like that. I like still yep. So I like seems to be the sympathy. What it's just ripped. So let me just pull that up instead of GCT for now. Randy Johnson scored six goals last night and pick up soccer and feet are dead, but feeling solid. Randy J, you're going to be a soccer beast. Get this feet going. They received all the gains from RC Ventures trade due to insider selling. Yeah, when they put out a PR like that, it makes it, it makes you think they that they actually had something to do with it. their stock increase. Makes it a little more sketchy, actually. Top of the morning to you, Tony. So APRN has been crazy, like... 26% on a completely bloody day yesterday. 8% after our pre-market. Good morning, bada bing. Who's ready for this IPO? How many shares do you think we're gonna get? You think we're gonna get any, like, anything, like, large at all? Or do you think it's just gonna be... Like five max, four, four, five, maybe one. I mean, this one was crazy hype too. This one was just as hyped as, this one was even more hype than a lot of them. Honestly, not even gonna lie. Like th this one was talked about forever. Forza said they got their entire <coughs> pre-orders filled. I think, I think the Forza people got way more. I heard that too, but they weren't like that. Did they even run? I think they ran. Oh yeah, they did. So, I mean, they ran and then they just tanked quickly. So, I mean, if you got, I mean, but if you got $4 shares, then you still made money. If you got a lot, went to 15. Forza wasn't the, the best IPO. Price to action wise. But VEEE -E -E is the one that I played for it and it ripped. Free my grandma. Jay Z is going to be cray. Yeah, Jay Z should be wild. Like, uh, everybody just coming in. Jay-Z is a Friday IPO. Y'all remember HKD. Remember HKD? Yeah, well, they're literally the underwriter. HKD IPO'd their own company, but they also I, they also are the underwriter that IPOs other companies. But they can still IPO their own company because it's a company that makes revenue. And look... AMTD is the lead underwriter, which, by the way, look, HKD stock. There, this is AM. Their company's name is AMTD Digital. Their ticker is just HKD. And remember, remember the. I mean, it ran even more than that. Let's go to the actual chart of HKD. This is the only reason that we're even in these stocks, and they're underwriting Jay Z. So. Should be wild. It looks like a huge pump and dump, which it was, but that's why you get in and you get out. But this one was literally just, I don't even know what to say about this one. So what did it open at initially, HKD? Open at 15 bucks. Thing literally went to freaking $2,300. Over time too, it didn't it just glided up. I remember Let me show you all something real quick.
when I was watching it. Obviously, I was never in it. Because I was, I was afraid to buy that one. Let me show you something about HKD. So, if you look at my tweets during that time, when I was running, I was talking about all these sympathies. There was so many, like, sim the sympathies for HKD were just nuts. But... What? I, tw I tweeted about HKD back in January 9th. What the heck? Oh, that's China Mobile, though. I was about to say. But, remember, so I was tweeting about it. It was going up. It was number 60 in the world. And then it kept going up. It was above Nestle, MasterCard. In market cap, 339 billion, Samsung, Home Depot. And then it ended up going all the way up to number 12 at the peak at a $450 billion market cap, almost above Nvidia, above Visa, you know, up here with Berkshire Hathaway. Almost up there with Amazon. Amazon's up there. So obviously, this company is not worth that at all, and it never will be. So that's just crazy. APRN is looking real nice still. Yeah, I like still in beast mode right now. Oh. Gotta get my stretch in. I had physical therapy last night for my shoulder. Mullen five trading view has Starbucks at five cents. No. Look, it's right now on Weeble to price at four dollars, but the only way we have to, the only reason we would get worried is if, if it says suspended for Starbucks on Weeble, because last time it did that for GCT, and it actually was suspended. Yeah, the boy, well, it was a blessing in disguise. It really was. GCT being suspended was a blessing in disguise. Who knows what would have happened if it was open? I mean, you saw how much it ripped after how much money poured in. So if people were able to use that money right off the bat, what would have what would it have done? It probably would have halted up, halted up again, halted up again, and then crashed i really liked i liked how it played out better you could you got you definitely had a chance to get in on a bigger move how much do you think they're asking for starbucks as a bid well it's gonna be big i th like gct barely gapped up from a type here press went to 19 or it only opened up at like 17 it opened up at 17, 17.70, and the IPO price was 12.25. So it didn't really gap up that much from IPO price. And then it tanked because of Weeble. But Weeble's gonna do this one good. They closed this, they closed Starbucks off earlier than any other one, the pre-orders. And you're not gonna get a bid for four. I'm just, there's, there's, no, there's no way you're gonna fill any for four. Just, just really, really low chance you do that. Jay-Z's already closed, really? Let me check that. That'd be crazy if they already closed Jay-Z.
I don't know. I can't tell because I haven't ordered place. Did they already close Jay-Z? I don't think it's I doubt that, man. Ape AMC Wedbush lowers AMC price target to two dollars following Ape share release. There was so much drama on YouTube about the Ape thing. I watched a few videos and I hate them. It's just all like I know Meet Kevin made a video and I agree with Meet Kevin more than anybody else really on it. To be honest. Not everything, obviously, but more than most. I like still moving here. I like literally ripping now, 30%. Yeah, Jay Z's still open. There's no way they close that off. They might close it off. They 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 could close it off tomorrow. They really could close it off tomorrow. Or I mean, maybe they close it off today. Who knows? But I don't think it has that as much hype as Starbucks did. It might build that over the next two days. Usually they like to close it off a day before it opens. But um, they could close it off. You know, Wednesday, tomorrow. What's Spy looking like? Spy is slightly up. Dang, I like is a rip ripper. Malaysian payments app Starbucks holding now prices. Oh, so they priced at the yeah they priced that there's at the low end just like MEGL. So they're they're following the footsteps of MEGL. That's what it looks like to me. Looks like they're following the footsteps of MEGL here. So instead of pricing at the $5 high end, they're offering the 5 million shares at the $4 end. So whatever you get filled, it's going to be for four bucks. I would be, I wouldn't mind. If they just give me 13 shares of this one. I'll be fine with it. But I don't even think I'm going to get that many. MEGL, I got 13 shares and then it ripped to, to crazy numbers. And then that's really all you needed. It was good profit. Yeah, Jay Z is still open. We don't. Yeah, it's still open. HD. Wait. What the heck just happened to my Weeble? Why did it close? Fucking a. What the. F Every time I type in HDST, it freaking... What the heck? I don't know why I got a notification for that, then, if that's not even a stock. I know, but... Still shouldn't crash. They... Well... I, the, I know. The reason I'm, ty I'm typing HDST is because... Over on my news feed, they wrote HDST initiate buy, but I know they meant HSDT. I'm look, look, they wrote the wrong thing and they kept crashing my Weeble. HDST initiate buy. They need to fix that ASAP because I know they mean HSDT and that's a stock that we're in. You see that? I don't know why I was crashing my Weeble. The heck? They're like, nope, you're not looking at this one, buddy. So, I mean, that's good news if they initiate a buy. This is a good one, too. Let me tweet that out. Oh, what the f... What? Copied and pasted it, and it's the wrong freaking ticker. <laughs> I'm 
So the top movers, Q T N T A E R I, I lag, I N D O has been moving up a decent bit lately. Is oil ripping right now? So oil is still going up. It's almost back to a hundred dollars a barrel. Well, it's ninety one. Brent crude, well, Brent crude, ninety seven a barrel. So oil has been actually going right back up from its lows. If GCT gets down to 25, I'm going to be looking at it again. No doubt. Considering what MEGL did once it got to half of its initial IPO price. GFAI next month for me. Hopefully, if they drop that news, could be could be good. Unless they drop a freaking offering again, which they love to do. But at this point, what are you gonna do? You're gonna drop an offering at 20 cents and completely do a reverse split and just screw up over your shareholders? Wouldn't be su surprised if they're that big of pieces of garbage. We're at. 821 of viewers only 330 likes let's see if we can get this to 400 boom shakalaka bam who's hyped for the st sdbx IPO right now. Who's hyped to see this? I'm really excited to see the open on this one. It's going to be wild, I think. Might be hard to buy this one. It would have been hard to buy GCT at the open, but they didn't have Weeble, so it was easy. This one might be actually hard to buy. We'll see. They haven't done anything to regulate these yet, so we're... They're, they're, they're still the same. Two thumbs up. All I want to see, st all I want to see is stars and moons. Alan Morgan. Only hyped if I get some shares. Yep. You gotta be quick, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'll probably buy in right away. I'll probably buy in right away. Unless I get like 100 shares on Weeble, but I'm not going to, zero chance. Y'all just be careful. But I know it's, you're going to have to set high bids, but we'll see what it, it's looking like. SPY is moving up 0.2%, so that's good for the day. SPY is moving up for us. Chase is crazy. Yeah, could be crazy. Nick S said thoughts on GCT scaling back up. That open given the foreign involvement. Oh, um, I'm looking for like 25, could bounce earlier than that, 
or it could c continue to fall. I'm just basing it off of what we know about MEGL on that one. Starbucks. Oh, we got the order book moving right now for Starbucks on Weeble. Order books moving. People can put in orders now for Starbucks on Weeble. At least that's what I'm seeing. Last time you couldn't. Last time you even couldn't. But it's not suspended right now. So the order book's moving. It's going to take some time to move since it just opened. Trade. Yep, you can trade. I think you. I can. So let's say I put a ten dollar order, for example. I don't. Don't. I'm not saying for you. Oh, so should we have got our shares yet? Didn't get our shares yet. At least I didn't. But. The order book is moving now. It's at 575, 28K bid. So the order book is moving right now, everybody. You can put orders on TD. Yeah, you can put orders on TD. And let me test it just to make sure. But on Weeble, can I put it in order? You can put an order in for Starbucks on Weeble now. So this is much earlier than you could have for GCT. Much, 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 much earlier. So we'll have to wait to see throughout the day on what that order book turns into to get a, you can't always 100% tell what it's gonna open at, but you can gauge what it might open at based on the order book. Last time, oof, GCT opened at 50 bucks from $4. Opened at 50 bucks from an IPO price of $4. The early investor. Oh, no, I didn't get my order yet. I did not get my pre-order yet for, G for Starbucks, but it should be coming in any moment now. Should be coming in pretty much any moment for the pre-order. They did open a order book. They opened the order book this time at the same time as all the other ones, which is kind of a weird time. It's not. It wasn't like 8 a.m. It wasn't like an even time. But if you think this play is too risky, dude, it's not for you. Then dude, I wouldn't touch it. Then that's don't don't stress yourself out or don't do something. Obviously. I say this all the time, never invest more than you're willing to lose, especially with these high risk IPO plays. Never ever do that. They're really risky, man. Mimi went from submitting to pending for Starbucks order. You can probably put it in, I'm assuming.
I wonder what all the AMC YouTubers are gonna do once, like, if AMC doesn't work out like that, you know what I mean? Somebody said put a 5k order in at $7 a share. So right now, for anybody just coming in, you can put a, it's looking like Weeble is going to open this one up as soon as they can. They're not going to suspend it. People are, oh, iLag's really just had a big move down there, moving back up now. People either will sell GCT for Starbucks or they're going to sympathy it. We'll see. Some news coming in over here. Wet G news. Yeah, don't fall in love with any of these IPOs, especially when they rip 300%. Made the title a little bit smaller. Just STBX IPO Live instead of Starbucks in the beginning. There is news coming in. Nothing that really stands out to me at all right now. This is going to be interesting too because a lot of people. Not everybody, but I know most people that were watching my stream for the, made a sh crap ton of money on GCT. And I know a lot of people in general made a crap ton of money on GCT. So a lot of people are going to take that money and put it into Starbucks. And it's going to be, uh, there's going to be tons of volume, volatility at open, probably multiple halts today. Hopefully it's not just a standstill like it was with Megal, but I wouldn't mind that either because Megal, it was a standstill, but he made a lot of money anyway. Went ripping. Yeah, I did see the Went news just now, but is it really? It is ripping off of that. With Lee Pharmaceuticals. Oh, uh, that's why the 70, this is why and that PR, that's why it's ripping regulatory and eventual commercial sales milestones for 79 million. That right there, that line in the PR is why it's ripping or well, it's up here too. It's at the top, but that's literally why that went is ripping. And because they're also at only 14 million market cap, so. That's why they're ripping. It's pretty big. They're, all these ones are risky. That is why. It's gonna be really interesting to see how it opens up. There's a 30K bid at 575 for Starbucks right now.
Yeah, you can bid it everywhere it's looking like. From what I'm seeing, you could bid Starbucks everywhere right now. <clears throat> I'll let you know when I get filled. I know y'all will spam it. APRN is a tank. I have 600 shares of APRN. And I added when it tanked earlier. When it tanked here, I added. Didn't get below 5, but I got like right above 5, like 510. Because I thought that people were going to move to this. Instead of BBBY, which maybe they did. It's looking like it. Yeah, Starbucks is probably going to halt instantly. I can see it halting literally instantly. If it's anything like MEGL, they have the same underwriter, they have the same float. But Starbucks has better financials, so... Yeah, it went. It ripped even further. They had a 78 million deal, or is it they can get 78 mil? That's why they're ripping. Got only 14 million market cap. So when they have a deal like that, that's like way higher than their market cap, that can make them really, really move there. Everybody just dropping in right now. Make sure you drop a like on the stream as we're dropping in. I, I, I have a feeling that this one's getting to a thousand likes before open. We're already halfway there and we're an hour into the stream. Since we're an hour into the stream and we're halfway there or more, yeah, halfway there, then we should be able to get there in another hour and a half. 436 likes at 950 viewers. 443 likes. 452 likes. Starbucks is bidding right now. You can bid it up to you whether you do that or not. I'll, I'll see what bids I can put in. I'll put in bids. I did put in a $10 bid already, but I don't even think that's going to get filled. But I'll have that one just in case it does. And then I'll put in different bids even higher, probably. Uh, but, I mean, I, I, I'll probably put them in... Maybe 8 will be the lowest bid I put in. But I don't I doubt that's going to happen. You got 30... Oh, did you all get shares already? It's looking like you got shares. Last time it took, once you said you got shares, it took me a second to get mine. Yep, I still didn't get mine, so it takes me a second. Every time that you guys say Weeble allocated, it, it takes me a little bit longer for some reason. I even got a DM, they got allocated, hold on. Uh, still didn't. Oh, I did get 53 shares at four dollars, y'all. I got 53. That's the most I ever got. I got 53 shares. Cool. I mean, damn that 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 pisses me off now, because that makes me think I should have put an even bigger order in. <sighs> I always get pissed off no matter what happens, guys. So it's never good enough for me. It's literally just never good enough for me. It's never fucking... It's never good enough for me. Alright, there's my allocation, everybody. That's my allocation, everybody. 53 shares of $4, so... Is this really gonna gap up like we think, then? If I'm getting 53 at four bucks, is this really gonna gap up like we think? And I got the notification, I got the email right there. Is this really gonna gap up like we think then? I may have to be careful with putting in those huge bids now, but I don't know. Getting 53 shares. Yeah, you got a bunch, man. 
Damn, I should have put in an even bigger order at this point. I could I should have put in like a 20, 30. I should have just put it all in. I don't know then. Is this going to really be anything like MEGL then? Are the is the big dogs in this one? Are the big dogs really in this one? I I, th I know a lot of retail. I know for a fact a lot of retail is in this one. I know that for a fact. But MEGL, I put in a 13k order and I only got four, uh, four or 13. So, but they closed this one off early. That's the thing. So they might have helped us out, the people that were early. So maybe they helped out the people that were early. That could also be the case. Oh, the bids are coming in at 15 bucks now. 12, 10. Wow, this is going to be crazy. If this, if this really rips and I got f that many shares, I'm going to be super hyped, man. I... Oh my. Just be careful then. It, it, this is going to be interesting now. Since a lot of us are got, getting a lot more shares. A lot of shares. A lot of us got a ton of shares. This guy did actually get 272. So, that wasn't Photoshop either. They're not lying. Where they're not, everybody, this isn't, they're not lying this time. The, the GCT people that said, said they got a lot actually lied. This time, this is not a joke. Okay, I can confirm it to you all right now. By my order. I put a $10,300 order and got 53 shares worth two, 212 at four bucks. So let's see what they do for us here. Retail holds more now. I'm going to uh, let my Discord know. How many shares I got? So for anybody just tuning in, it's looking like retail got a lot more of this one. Oh, and APRN is ripping. I love APRN. I literally love APRN. So for anybody just tuning in, this is how many shares I got allocated this time, this IPO around. More than MEGL. They closed it off very early compared to MEGL. So either there wasn't, there just simply wasn't as much demand, or since they closed it off early, they helped out the people that were early to put in the pre order. Who knows at this point? Or maybe they're just trying to make up for the GCT somehow. So I got a ton, maybe a ton. It just depends how high this goes. If it doesn't do anything, then that's ain't much. We all got scanned with eight shares, so this thing's gonna moon. All right, everybody, drop in the chat really quick. How many you got? Let me re, let me look at what you what you all got again. Everybody, drop in the chat just a number of how many you got. So Doctor got eight. Twisty got 8, RG got 172, Eric got 10, 
just another pothead got a hundred. Alvin got eight. Hundred, nine, eight. A lot of eights. Tons of eights. Tons of eights. All right, so only the people that got eight shares. How, mu how, how much money did you put in? How much money did you put in? For the people, only the people that got eight, how much money did you put in? Eight to nine to 10, around that range. You put in a hundred, so you guys only put a hundred bucks. Make sure you put the hundred dollar, make sure you put the dollar sign ne next to it. So you guys put in a hundred to 200 bucks and you got eight to 10. So that makes sense though. You got to realize that. That makes sense. That's actually good for only putting in a hundred, 200 bucks, to be honest with you. Depending on how this goes. All right, there's bids for $50 coming in. There's a $30,000 bid for $575. Somebody wants to grab up a ton at $575. So I'm going to put in different bids here, okay? I'm going to put in low bids. I'm going to put in high bids. I'm going to be a different wild animal here. And APRN, I love APRN. Such a beast. For anybody that's wondering how we even pre-ordered this and got shares of this at this at four bucks, I have it linked already. And if you want to get the Jay-Z IPO that's this week, if you go quick and deposit quick, use that Weebo link right now. Sign up for it like right freaking now. And you gotta deposit quick for the Jay if you want to get the Jay-Z IPO. And the reason you should use that link instead of just any other old link or just going to instead of going to the app store it would make no sense for you to go to the app store because you get 12 free stocks so the lowest bid is six bucks now so use the link right there that i just shown and look you get 12 free stocks you can pre-order these ipos like jay-z i pre-ordered 12 free stocks and you can trade pre-mark, you can trade on your own schedule. You can't trade early on Robinhood. I'm pretty positive you can't. I've tried to trade early on Robinhood. Like pre-mark and after hours, you can't. So use that 100%. Get your 12 and then... Yeah, a lot of people got way more shares on this one than any other one, even Magel. Four, it's... A little less than what people got with Forza. So it's just... It, but they closed it off early. They did close it off early. So who knows what their idea behind it with that was. Seems like they were... It, to help us in a way. That's what, at least that's what we hope. I think it was, uh, I feel like. I, I mean... Weeble is a good company. Just, just keep that in mind. Oh, look, they finally fixed it. They put HSDT initiated by. And it's and it moved. HSDT moves. Let's go. Went. APRN's a beast. Bids coming in 15 bucks. The lowest bid's tw uh, 26 here. The lowest bid's at 650. Seven bucks, eight bucks, 10. There's a high bid at fi 50. Lowest bid's at seven. I meant to say, I think I said that. Lowest bid's at seven, highest bid's at 50.
It's gonna be super duper duper interesting to see what this one does since we got a lot of shares. Since retail got what I would consider a lot of shares, com definitely compared to the other ones. Everybody that's just coming in, I got 53 shares allocated or out of a 10 get 10 K order. I got 53 shares allocated out of a 10 K order. A lot of people got around 10 shares, eight to 10 shares if they put a hundred bucks in. So that shows you that they did in fact give away a lot here compared to what they, what they did in the past. So they did in fact give away. So the minimum bid's at eight now. Man, if this is anything like Magel, we might have just hit a jackpot. I'm telling you. I hope it's something. If if it is, I, I don't I don't feel it technically. I don't really feel it right now that it's gonna be anything like Magel. I'm not feeling it. But my feelings don't give a damn about what actually happens. So I'm not feeling a Magel run, but my feelings don't really care. It's not a Friday IPO either, so keep that in mind. The Jay-Z IPO is a Friday IPO, so that's going to be probably crazier. Yeah, it's not halted, everybody. It's just, oh, it says halt. Yeah, so I guess it just says that, but it's not trading yet. So it, I guess it just says halt. Hopefully the, Hopefully it plays out good for us. So I'm going to put some low bids in, but I'm also going to put some high bids in, put them all over the place. I, who knows? Maybe I won't get any filled at all on my bids because maybe it will open way too high. That's what, that's kind of what I hope it opens, it opens way too high. Hope I, I hope I get some filled, but I also hope it, hope it opens way too high at like 50 bucks because if it does, then I just made a lot of money just from my pre-order. Yeah. It always says halt on an IPO said so expound upon. Yeah, they all say halt at first. All right, everybody. We're at over a thousand viewers and we only have 500 likes. Come on. Let's get this to a thousand likes right now. Before market open, we have an hour left. Get, let's get it. Come on. I would really appreciate y'all to do that. It spreads the word about this IPO. The minimum bid is at $10 per share right now. The highest bid is at 50 bucks. Let's get this stream up there in the algorithm. We got to break the algorithm. We got a lot of shares now, so there's no doubt that y'all want to get this going out there. We're at 571 likes out of over a thousand viewers. So a lot of you are coming in here and saying, you know what, man, you don't deserve my like, which is fine. You can drop a dislike, drop a dislike as well. That is something you can also do. Come in here, click that dislike. But the likes go crazy with it. Six hundred likes out of over a thousand viewers, and we're still an hour away from open. You can see that the hype is there from retail. The hype is there from retail, which is always good. But is the hype there in Hong Kong, or Hong Kong, or China, or Malaysia, or any of those Chinese areas? The spy isn't ripping as much as it was. It's still green though. I'd like to see it up. Before this opens, that would help. I know with MEGL that the spy was up big, pretty sure. GCT it wasn't up at, at, at all. It was down significantly the whole time GCT ran. GCT ran 250% in a day, and the spy was down 1%. So it doesn't really matter all that much, but it so the minimum bid is at 10 bucks right now, everybody.
This is the order book. HSDT moving nicely. That was in our one of our previous videos. We also love talking about those bottomed out, big gap to the upsides, small caps as well recently. So subscribe for that as well. A dog in France has monkeypox. Worrying scientists that won't be able to eradicate the virus if it spreads to more animals. You can co cover... <laughs> if Amazon and Microsoft... Yeah, I, so the big dog stock that I hold, the big dog tech stock that I hold is Apple. I, I hold Apple. I just think they're going to kill it. That's a big dog tech stock that I hold. Y'all, how many shares did y'all get? I know I know a lot of you are just coming in here. 1K order, you got four shares, that's it? You should, oh, uh, 12 shares? That seems just about right, yeah. I got a 10K order, I, I got 53. So I'm gonna put in a little bit more orders here. Gonna. Gonna put in some high ones as well as uh, along with some lower ones. Put them all. I'm putting them all over the place. I'm just gonna put them all over the place. Really, I'm just. It's. I'm taking a really big risk putting in orders like this. So I hope you all know that. But I'm gonna try it. See what happens. Yeah, Hong Kong definitely knows, but do they want to get in on it? That's the question. Oh, APRN is a beast. Just a new high. New high for APRN. Telling you, man. We're literally hitting all the bangers on this channel. HSDT finally is getting its love. Still has a long, long way to go, but giving a buy signal from a Institution's a good sign. APRN. Man, imagine people just use their brain and talked about APRN instead of BBBY. Or got out of BBBY after they profited and went to APRN, which they're probably doing right now. This is a great short squeeze play. Good fundamentals, lower market cap than all these other ones. And now you can see uh, why I've been talking about it. Absolutely soaring right now. Is a bid or limit order better? Uh, I'm putting in bids. Or it's a it's a buy limit. It's a buy limit bid. It's a limit order, but it's a bid. I'm putting all kinds of orders in everybody. I don't know where it's going to go. You know what I mean?
Hmm. For anybody just coming in, I got 53 shares out of my pre-order at four bucks per share. So it's not like MEGL where we got way less. They give retail a decent bit from this one. Why is it saying that? Well, I have a bid at 10, at 15. I'm trying to put in higher bids, but sometimes I keep saying canceled. <laughs> These bids are not going to get filled. You're probably right. You're probably right. A lot of them probably won't. But you never know, man. You have no clue. We didn't think GCT lower bids were going to get filled, but they did. They got filled really nicely. We even got a chance to get in at 12. Lauren Blazer said GCT didn't look like I'd get filled, but I did get, yeah, I bought it 19. Kind of got a little bit worried when it dropped and Weeble didn't open, but then I stuck to my guns and bought. And it paid off absolutely big. Big time paid off on that. That's what we, we just want another big payoff here. That's all we're here for. Epic glitches and gives you 450. <laughs> They will not glitch that. That's the last thing they will do is glitch and give you give you low shares. They'll glitch it for somebody else. They'll hypothetically glitch it for, you know, the hedge funds, maybe. But they're not going to glitch it for you. Just always know, when you're placing a bid for this, you are... Absolutely taking a massive risk of losing all of your money. So, and keep in mind, I'm just an entertainer. Good morning, John Brennan. A lot of chats this morning, a lot of viewers. The retail is here for it. We're just waiting to see if Hong Kong is here for it. For anybody just coming in, I just did want to show you my Discord really quickly. Obviously today for Starbucks, we do have a Starbucks chat room. That's probably going to be, I mean, it's been going crazy. You can see everybody typing. 
Uh, it's gonna be crazy in the Starbucks chat room today, but the, the we got stock alerts in here. You know, we got gave a full watch list. GCT, HSDT was on here, STBX, GEGI. Almost all of these ran except for VTGN had an offering, which screwed that one up. APRN. Uh, no, no, no. VLCN had the offering, not the VTGN. WLAN, they're all doing well. Uh, we can go back to our previous alerts. You know, we alerted APRN. I said APRN is the next BBBY. Well, it's looking like that. ILAG ran 52%. On the day that Forza had their IPO, uh, you had VEE run 100% from five bucks to 980. And that was alerted. And then also TVPC, that ran 50, 40 per 1% yesterday. And uh, that was alerted, it ran 300% the day we alerted it. ARTL was a huge winner recently. And then we have the stock baller calls. which is just other members that get promoted and they have their own calls. So there's a link right there if you want to hop in. Yeah, I know. Less than 700 likes, said John Brennan. We, we will get the, we will get there to 1,000 before market open on this one. I, I know it. I know that for a fact. But we're at 679. Let's get it to 700 and then... We'll easily get it to a thousand in a second. Six hundred and eighty-seven likes right now. Let's see if we can move this up before market up to a thousand. Break the algorithm real quick. Break that algorithm in half. I mean, not only are these IPOs ripping, but our other plays are doing really well. HSDT. Wait. APRN. Covered that last night too. Been covering it. <laughs> ARTL took you out of a 890 negative to positive. So from alert in the Discord, somebody was down almost a grand and he got taken out of that and he got put in a positive spot. So that's on you that, that hit that buy button, Tim. So congratulations to you, man. We're at 731 likes. You did a good job, but we're getting to a thousand. We got a brand new donation super chat from Brock Lee. Get the Brock star in the chat. Brock star in the chat. Thank you for the $2. He said, you're the man, Moon. Starbucks. Get the Brock star in the chat. The bids are, the minimum bid right now is looking at 12. We're also looking at 14, 25, 15 bids, 25 bids, and a $50 bid. Did you say broccoli? No, I said Brock Star. I don't like. We had the Giga last time, so it's hard to pick one for this. Cause Giga was just the best. Speaking of Giga, you know it's it's trying to consolidate. But STBX is the focus today. JD revenues beat expectations. They held 12% of GCT. That's good. Something else that was good from yesterday for these Chinese IPOs was Morgan Stanley said this, that Morgan Stanley picks China stocks to beat volata volatility. They're going to beat market volatility and name two with upside. So they think China stocks will do well, basically. Giga SDBX. 
Giga Chads. I know the Giga Chads are on STBX anyway, so we're still Giga Chads no matter what. I know the Giga Chads are all in the chat, but we can't be saying that as much. We gotta, we gotta get a new meme going. APR and APR and up 17% pre market. Oh, I'm gonna drop my freaking dang it. My green screen is kind of. How many shares did everybody get? Well, for my 10K order, I personally got uh, 53 for my 10K order. Which is decent. Futures did turn red, unfortunately. So it shouldn't matter. It really should not matter at all. But SPY, unfortunately, had to turn red on us there. It, it, it could recover. But I did get 53 shares. What time is it live? Well, just when market opens, sometime after market opens. We don't, it's not always the same every time. HSDT strong after getting a buy alert from who gave it the buy alert? Uh, Roth cap. Give HSDT the buy alert. Not necessarily a buy alert from them, but they initiated a buy, meaning, you know, it's a decent buy right now. At least that's what they think, unless they got paid to say it, which is always a possibility. Most people that put it, let's say you put in a $100 to $200 order, you got eight to 10 shares. The people that put in a 10K order got, you know, like 50 shares. People that put in a 20K order probably got like 100, 100 shares. Or maybe less. But it's a lot more this time. But it makes you wonder, will it, will the demand really be there? We'll see. We'll see if the demand's gonna be there. Retail demand is there. Is Hong Kong there like the other ones? We don't we don't see it necessarily right now, so we gotta be careful. Yeah, what happened to what's uh, going on with AMC and Ape now? AMC's trying to move Ape up a little bit. There's so much drama between those, and I hate drama. AMC Apes need to just make money on like Starbucks and GCT. Like, while GCT were, was running up, AMC Apes were all over just screaming and crying and. Shout out to St. Lion and Mikkel for shouting out HSDT in the Discord for at least bringing that one to my attention. And a few others. That was brought to my attention a long, long time ago. I never publicly brought it out till recently though. You got 20 shares this morning. That's like, that's, we're getting a good bit. We're all getting a good bit. But do we want a good bit? Yes, we do. But we want it also to be high demand. So it rips. So it's just going to be very, very, very interesting to see how it plays out. Oh, we got another uh, HSD, HSDT. They, they gave, this is, keep in mind, everybody. 
Price targets mean nothing. It usually will never hit that price target. But HSDT from Roth again, price target of $5. See it right there. Doesn't mean it's ever gonna hit that. Probably will, probably will never hit that. But it's just great that we're seeing that come in. Increases sediment of it, gets more, more eyes on it, at least. And it ripped because of that, you can see. So, HSDT. Another one that's playing out for us that we covered. Got to be on top of them videos. Seriously, got to be on top of them videos. You want to follow the Twitter? At market underscore. And we can see that so many people in the Discord are on HSDT. You can see it, boom, HSDT, all the way down the line when it runs, because we've been on it forever. Thanks to, you know, the really, really great people that are in the Discord. And you can see that it's ripping now. Never chase anybody. No, do not chase. It's completely up to what you do with your own money. But if you want to get in early next time, join the Discord. It's not pinned. The Weebles pinned because that's where you pre-order these IPOs. But as far as I'm concerned, there's a huge gap right here, as we can see, at a dollar. So that would, if we get to a dollar, that would be very sexy. Went. Nice curl up back above VWAP there. They had the 78 million news. HSDT. Taken off. Everybody was talking about that yesterday, and I kept saying, be patient. Pretty sure. Do I stream every morning? I streamed every morning this week and Thursday, Friday last week. So I've streamed the past four trading days. Do you want me to stream every morning? These stocks are doing well. Oh, wow. HSDT ripped up. It ripped up, everybody. Went. APRN. I want to keep APRN up there because that one's doing well, but let's put HSDT there. Just keep in mind, don't chase anybody. Do not chase. You, you, you want to get in before the run, not during. So get in the Discord if you don't want to chase any anymore. If you, not, if you want to stop being a little chaser... Get in the Discord. I, yeah, I think there's a, the wick. The wick. Um, hold up, man. Yeah. So the wick is at 85 cents. But... A full gap fill is at is at a dollar. The full gap fill for the candle, but yeah, the, it might just fill the wick. But a lot a lot of times, it, the full gap fill that I like at least is on the candle. But yeah, eighty five is really the the wick gap fill. So Roth decided to come out and say, let's uh, move this one. And we ha just happened to be on it way early before they did that. How do you buy Starbucks? Starbucks. To pre-order any of these IPOs and get in on us early, use that WeBull link. You get 12 free stocks. Do it right now and deposit as soon as possible, man. 
so you can get on the next IPO. If you get tw if you use the link pinned, that blue box at the top of the chat, that blue box that says a weeble.moonmarket. Try it on your PC if you can't do it on your phone, but you should be able to use your phone and click it. And sign up and deposit right now and get on the next one. Uh, you just used the link, Marty? Nice, dude. Good shit. Yeah, you get 12 free stocks. You got to deposit, though. If you don't deposit, you won't get them. A lot of people say, why didn't I get them? I signed up. You got to deposit. The minimum bid is 14 right now for a Starbucks. Doesn't mean it's going to open at 14. And the max bid is 50. But it does give us a little idea of it. It probably will gap up. HSDT is paying off now. See, a lot of people probably take profit at this point, but a lot of people are looking for that gap fill. 85, 85 on the wick to full, fully fill it, a dollar. But a lot of traders are happy with a, the wick gap fill. Jagex had news, but it could move, but I'm not a, the biggest fan of it. Just don't, just don't chase HSDT at all. If you want to stop chase, if you want to stop being a chaser, hop in. Hop in with the big dogs. Yeah, don't chase anything because if you get a bad habit of chasing stocks because they're green, you're going to lose money and you're going to be out of the stock market quick. So do not chase green. Do not chase green. Get in when it's red. That's a that's at least simple to go by. Yeah, you should learn basic charting, but just to make it more simple, get in when it's red, not when it's green. But... You do what you do. It's not financial advice at all. So minimum bids coming in at 16 now. We're at 777 likes at 1259 viewers right now. Getting very, very close to that 1,000 before open. And I think we're going to hit it. We got about 30 minutes, a little more than 30 minutes left to hit 1,000 before open. We didn't do it on GCT the other, other day. I think we did one of the days where it ripped. But we didn't do it last stream. But this time we should easily be able to do it. Especially with... Wow, there's a 220 bid. There's huge bids now coming in for Starbucks. Man, I'm really interested to f see how this is going to open. I'm pretty sure last time, like the minimum bid of Magel was like 50. So doesn't seem like it's like a Magel gap, but we'll see. Still got time. We're at 814 likes at 1,200 viewers. It's going to get way more eyes on the play if we get to 1,000 likes.
Oh, it's this is Weeble. It's pin. It's pinned. Weeble is pinned. This is the app I'm on. Website where it's an app you download on your PC. You use it as an app. You trade Nasdaq. You can't trade OTC here, unfortunately. This is going to be interesting, everybody. Yeah, limit limit orders. What I'm doing personally, people in chat people in chat can help you as well. It says sold out on Discord. Really, does it? The five dollar is sold out. It will be for a while. Last time I even opened it, completely glitched out. No, it's open. God tier is sold out, but er elite early access is is really the only one we got right now. And then the other ones, the, the higher tiers besides Elite, that gets you the full right DD write-ups. Like I'll write up the DD and you'll get it you'll get basically like articles. But the ten dollars is, is is really all you need if you just want to get in the Discord and get all of that great information. The Discord is just a is huge. Wild in there. I have some limits set, probably a little too low, because now the minimum bid is 16, but you never know. And uh, if it, just in case it gets filled, I'll have, you know, I have one at 15, I even have one at 10, and then I'm going to have a lot higher ones. I don't really want to say my higher ones because I don't want anybody to do anything that I'm doing because it's really risky. You know what I mean? There is high bids coming in for Starbucks. I personally already have 53 shares of Starbucks. I already have 53 shares in my portfolio. I'll show you right now. <laughs> That's already my position. Cause I got the pre-order from Weeble. So I, I already have 53 shares because I used Weeble and they were able to give me that many. Yes, uh, Weeble did contact me saying, wow, man, you got a lot of people coming in. And you know why a lot of people are coming in? It's because they want to get these pre-orders and there's so much money being made.
My pre-order was $10,300 to be exact. So I, I kind of wish I put in a bigger pre-order, but I, I assume that, well, I'm not gonna get a lot. So why lock up all that money, but I should have put an even bigger pre-order in. You always learn from this stuff. I mean, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm, I just get a little greedy when I know I could have got more. The minimum bid is now 20 bucks. And we're about to hit, we're getting close to a thousand likes. I know we can do it. 858 likes right now. Everybody that's coming in or has been in here, drop a quick like on the stream. We're getting gearing up for a thousand likes to break the algorithm for the Starbucks IPO. The minimum bid is 20 bucks. The highest bid is 220 bucks. We're gearing up for the STBX Starbucks IPO. HSDT still holding up after getting some signals from other institutions that they're putting in bot that they're buying and giving it large price targets. So DTSS over here, you did get some news. And they're ripping. So ticker DTSS out of 32 million market cap got news that they got a 4.4 million procurement agreement. Not huge news, I wouldn't necessarily say. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that would make it rip for a 4.4 million order. So I'm gonna go off that one. I don't think that's gonna be a ripper ripper. But it, that's just what I believe. Weeble, 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 weeble. I know that I'm saying weeble, holy, but there's a lot of people that are still looking for this. Giovanni said, I've been on workers comp with a torn ACL and I've been just watching Moon Market on these live streams making money, dude. Awesome. I'm glad you're making money and I hope you recover. I actually recently, uh, you know, you can't tell right now, but I had surgery for my, I tore my labrum in my shoulder. Well, I guess I can show you that I, my, my little, the dots, the scars that I got from a uh, labrum surgery, also in the back, but I can't show that. And uh, I've been going to physical therapy, had an appointment last night, been recovering good. It's been over a month, ABT. Hope you recover, man. You, you're, uh, you finished the hard part already if you had surgery. Or you, no, you did the, you did the easy part if you had surgery, if you had the surgery. The, the surgery itself is the easy part, I meant to say. Yeah, I'm still a little bit in GCT, but I'll tell you right now, as I was saying on stream, yeah, most of that is already out in profit. Can't hold. You definitely never want to hold, in my personal opinion, when you're up over 300%. Like, just take your profit. Don't be greedy. Even if you're up 100%, you probably want to take some profit already. You don't have to be that greedy. We're almost at a thousand likes. Yep, we're gonna we're definitely hitting a thousand likes before this market opens. No doubt about that one. We're at 910 likes. So let's get it quick so then I can shut up and focus on Starbucks. 920 likes. One of our previous video or plays in our previous video, HSDT. Boomin. Was talked about in the Discord for months. Ape up. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of Ape or AMC. There's too much drama. 
Could it run? I don't know. Will they dilute? Probably at some point. Are they or they literally have to or else the company won't do well. Shareholders will have to give in and let them dilute. To get money and pay off that dang debt. They got to pay off that debt. Let them pay it off. Let them be the biggest movie theater in the entire world. Let them pay it off. Oh, Giovanni said no surgery yet. <laughs> well, you tore your ACL, you said, and you didn't get surgery. You got to get you got to get surgery, right? Or does that not hurt after your torn ACL? Maybe you're leading up to it. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you recover, man. We're almost at, we need 50 more likes, less than 50 more likes, and we're chilling on, on the 1,000. SPY is down, but it doesn't really seem to matter for all of our plays. I mean, HSDT just moved again. No, HSDT is not going to $5. That's just what some company that I have no idea who it is gave a price target for. It's not going to go to $5, though. So. In my opinion, all everything in this video is my opinion. Nothing is financial advice. So the minimum bids at 15 back to 15. Doesn't seem as big as Magel. Gap wise, but it should gap. STBX is on stock Twitch, is it? Not yet for me, it should be up. If it's up for you, it should be up for me in a second, I guess. HSD follow, high is following earlier initiated and name. So they hit highs. Amazing right there. It kind of seems like it wants to fill that gap on the on the daily. The gap on the daily is at is that no, it's at uh the gap wick is at eighty five and the other gap to fill the candle is a dollar, but 85 is a candle is the wick gap fill Yeah, I can HSCT is really ripping <laughs> Following these news stories there's two first of all I think it was the same company So you can see Roth cap initiated a buy and then Roth cap also put in a five dollar price arc although it's probably not gonna hit five bucks but they did that and it made a run so shout out to Roth cap there must be some other people talking about it at this point like Such a big move. Market is red today though, so just always keep that in mind. We did hit a thousand likes, everybody. We just hit a thousand and two likes. Good stuff, everybody. Oh, my freaking keep on hitting my damn green screen. One second, everybody. One second. Stay tuned. It's about to open.
Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Try to open. I'm going to be getting a new setup soon, everybody. Just saying, so it's going to be even better. I know I just got a new PC, a bunch of new equipment, but I'm also completely changing my setup as well. HSDT! So here's the top movers pre market. Went G E H I A R I. HSDT is ours. I like we talked about. We did talk about went. I like is starting to move. Wonder what GCT is doing. Not nothing right now. People might be selling for these other players. Just be, be be in mind of that. $15 minimum bid right now. Up to $220. do not fix it. Don't fix what? Double bottom on GCT. GCT was crap. No, it was not. It was amazing. Unless you were late, dude. Were you late on the on GCT? Dude, we streamed it forever. Get in the Discord or something. Stop being late to the plays, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> remember the video I made on HSDT, everybody? Now I'm not. This is no like it's 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 up now. It's up a lot now. But remember the video I made on HSDT where I went over this? Uh, it's not showing it right now. Sometimes it doesn't load for market open, but I guess I can pull it up on a. Do I like doing Ortex because Ortex is always on point. But I also have different platforms where I can check cost of borrow. Where is it? There. Oh. Yeah. So let me show you this. If the cost of borrow. Yep, it's accurate on here. That five hundred percent. Only six hundred fifty thousand shares available to short left. And the cost of borrow is five hundred and forty-five percent right now, as of seven thirty a.m. this morning. So they have to pay up to short the thing. Major Grom, how did I learn to trade? Watching a ton of videos, screen time, doing it, just practicing and practicing. You know, just doing it for a long time. It's always, always more for me to learn though. There's still a lot more. I'm learning every single day still. Every single day I continue to learn, but I can make huge trades. I mean, it's been a crazy green streak. Like almost every day I've been green for, I can't like so long now. I'm not trying to, I'm not saying like, I, I lost a lot of money. You can go back to videos where I lost so much money. 15K in a single trade, you know, after holding for too long. Oh, this, this is interesting.
Sheesh, this NUVG is at 189 million market cap. That's crazy. Discord, yes, Discord does work. Follow the guide, man. If not, you can hop on your PC, dude. I've tried it myself, man, on other accounts, and it's worked every single time flawlessly. You got to make sure you're logged into the right Discord account. $20 minimum bid right now. We are less than 15 minutes away from market open, everybody. And the big bids are starting to flow in for ticker STBX. For anybody just now coming in, don't forget to drop a like, of course. I would appreciate that a lot. And if anybody is interested to see, which I know a lot of people are, how many shares exactly did we get allocated? How many shares did I get allocated? Well, a lot of the people that put in, let's say $100, $200, got 8 to 10 shares, which is more than an MEGL. And this is the most similar to MEGL we got, although it doesn't, we don't know if the Hong Kong is gonna come in. It's not a Friday IPO. That's what we don't have with this one. It's not a Friday IPO. So a lot of people might sit out just because of that. But this is how many shares I got out of a $10,000 investment. You can see I got 53 out of a 10k investment so 212 dollars allocated out of a 10k investment at 53 shares at four dollars per share they stuck to four dollars on this one just like megl seems to me that they're following megl's footsteps is there is there as much hype or is there as much big money coming in we'll have to see we will really still have to see Have I ever bought IPO shortly after open? Yeah, I bought GCT at, directly after open at $19. It crashed, and then it, it went to 12 and then I bought it at 14 and then it went to, what was it? Uh, $62 at the peak, $67 actually, early pre-market. There might have been more investors. There might have been more big investors on Megal compared to this one. So keep in mind, don't do anything stupid, everybody. Do not do something that's going to make you lose money.
I don't know if any of my orders are going to fill or not. It just depends on how this opens. I have all kinds of orders in. They're a little risky. Very, very risky. Very, very risky. I could lose it. But since this one is looking like it's going to open on all brokers at the same time, I do kind of want to get a bit more shares if it does start ripping. But we're opening in 10 minutes, everybody. We're 10 minutes away from the open. Anybody just coming in here now, drop a like on the stream. I got 53 shares pre-market at four bucks. It's looking like it might gap up, but it's not always guaranteed it does. The ask is at 55 and 89. So this might gap up, y'all. I don't know if any of my bids will get filled. Not 100% sure. Yeah, HSDT is just a banger right now. Did APRN, what did APRN know? That's okay. So APRN is also still on watch today. That's, but the reason I have ILI guys up is because it's a sympathy. It has been at least. And then HSDT is not a sympathy to any of these. It's just a really solid play that got price targets and different... Companies initiated buys on it. Just trying not to chase anything. We are getting very, very close to market open, everybody. And there's a lot of people in the stream. Did Stock Twitch open it yet? Yes, they did open it. So if y'all are interested in Starbucks on a Stock Twitch, they opened it up. So I'll link it. That's Starbucks and stock twits. I'm gonna chat. Go ahead and give it a follow on stock twits. You basically just click that watch right there. It'll probably start trending soon, I'm sure. If anybody wants to share the stream on, st uh, actually I should share the stream since it just opened now. On the new stock Twitch page, I always like a fresh new stock Twitch page. Everybody go like that post that I put on there. Everybody go drop a message on stock twits. Somebody said eight. And it's not running, dude. It's only up 11%, which has a long way to go. Maybe, I don't know. Has a long way to go still.
We're less than five minutes away from opening, everybody. Less than five minutes away from opening. For one of the most wild IPOs. Could be. Hopefully, it lives up to the expectations. But always expect anything to happen. Always just just always expect anything can happen, everybody. Just know that. Don't be surprised of anything at all. Dang, you all like that stream real fast. Holy crap, you got it to uh, 21 likes on stock twits. Nice. Appreciate y'all. GCT has a long way to go. It went a long way, bro. Come on now, man. If you're missing, if you're late, if you're late to a 300. <sighs> do I really have to do this to people? I, I hate to do it. I really hate to do this, but. If GCT has a long way to go, then how did this guy make 357% on GCT? 250%. This is all in the Discord. 13 grand, 3K, 368K. Do they think they have it has a long way to go? They're happy. Let's get in the Discord, man. If you're if you're late. Put in a new pin message there. Three minutes till open on the dot. Three minutes on the dot till open. The Discord works, dude. If you signed up for a $5 membership when it was sold out, you have to you have to upgrade to $10 because there was only 10 available. It works for everybody. Why are there people joining constantly? If you bought a $5 membership when it was sold out, what do you think is going to happen? It's very obvious. All right. Going to hide, start hiding users now. Besides the point, $17 is a minimum bid. We got ask at 55 and 89. It's looking like it's going to be a sizable gap up from the looks of it. Doesn't guarantee anything. Wow, y'all really just got that to 33 likes on stock twits. Holy. I've never got that many likes on a stock twits post in my life. 1,800 viewers. So, oh, the minimum bid is 20 at 7K. Ah, oh, my orders might not fill. Some of them, at least. Maybe some of them will if I get really lucky. We'll see if any of these fell. Hey, who knows? It could be, it, it, you know. Oh, we're open, everybody. It doesn't mean that Starbucks is going to open instantly, though. Just keep that in mind. Starbucks might not open inst instantly, but it might. Let's go to only Starbucks now. All right, so it's halted. Still halted. Didn't trade yet. Don't think it traded yet at all.
Didn't didn't open yet, everybody. We're halted. We're halted. Somebody's saying GCT. Yes, yeah, dude, it's down right now. It's down 20% open. We didn't trade yet. You don't it, it, it usually you gotta wait till around 10 a.m. Eastern time. This is all Eastern time when I'm talking about this. 10, 10 30, 11, even 11 30. So just let it have time. Let these orders come in. They're even getting bigger now. So I'm pissed because I need to change my orders. But sometimes Weeble says, oh, like it cancels it. It doesn't let me put in like a massive priced order. So Ape is up 15%. HSDT, yep, it has massive volume. Holy, wow. 20 million. Just be careful. Ape is trying to move. HSDT already beat Ape by a long shot, though. That's why we don't even care about these other ones, uh, Ape and stuff, because we're just getting way better gains on other stocks. Starbucks is still not open yet. It's not open just yet. Oh, yeah, I meant to check this one. Nope, not mo not moving there. HSDT, wow, nice move. Roth launches by. Look, they even put an article out for it for HSDT. Um. Yeah, a lot of people are saying it's a good one. I'm in it. I've been in it. We've been in the Discord. But it's just a little high right now. A little high up there. APRN. Our STBX. We're waiting for this to open. Everybody just coming in. If you're just coming in, because I did notice a lot of viewers just came in and popped up to 2,000 viewers. I have a bunch of bids in. I'm not going to say my bid prices because they might be a little ridiculous. But they might not be. I mean, there's literally asks... There is an ask for four bucks. There's a minimum bid at 30, you know, it's up to 220. All over the place right now. So we're gonna have to see what happens. We don't know what's gonna happen. High, high risk right now. But it's looking like retail is all over this. What we're wondering though, retail might be all over this, but is, is China and all of them over there, are they on it too? We'll have to find out. Welcome to the stream, everybody, though. Welcome to the stream. We're at 1,100 likes. Let's see if we can get this to 1,500 on the on the dot right now. It's about to get wild in here. We're waiting for ticker STBX Starbucks to open up. For anybody interested, how many did I get from a 10K pre-order? A lot more than I expected, to be honest. I expected to not get much, but they did close this one out early. So they either did that because it was, I thought they did that at first because it was just, there was too much demand and they couldn't give it out. And that still might be the case, but it didn't seem like, but we got way more for Magel. I mean, we got way less for Magel and I put an even bigger order. I got less for Magel, even bigger order. So we could take a look here on Starbucks and see that I got 53 shares at worth two hundred fifty-two dollars, worth two hundred and fifty bucks, or two hundred and twelve, two hundred and twelve bucks for a ten k pre-order. That did fill for anybody just coming in. So a lot more than I did for Magel. It's actually shocking that we have two thousand people in here. Wow. 
Shout out to everybody coming in. This is more than GCT. This is more viewers right off the bat than GCT. That does not mean it's going to run like GCT. It does not mean anything. But that is something to point out. Spy did move up. Spy is moving up. That's good for our open. That's coming soon. It's still halted. Starbucks is still halted. Ape has moved up. Ape is trying to break VWAP right now. HSDT, they got initiated some buys. It's coming down. It's cooling down a little bit. But like, I mean, it hits 72 cents. APRM is trying to break VWAP. Some of the big movers today. I like not doing much. At least for now. Let's open up GCT down here. So GCT is kind of moving right now. But just be careful with it. Like I said, 25 would be a good spot. If I if it came down there, in my opinion, for a little starter get back starter starter once again. Revenue. Starbucks has, I think it was 3 million revenue, but they profited like 2.1 million of it. So they profited a lot of the revenue. They profit a lot of their revenue. It has better fundamentals than Megal. STBX has, you know, MEGL did like 3 million revenue as well around there, but they only profited like 200K, 200,000. GCT is getting volume and moving here. But SCBX did about a little over 3 million, but they profited like 2.1 million of it. So they make more money overall, STBX and Magel. And Magel Brand, but we don't, but, but STBX isn't a Friday IPO. We don't have that Friday IPO crew hopping on this. And we don't know if even China is hopping on this. This could just be a pure retail one. So we got to keep that in mind. I'm sure retail China is hopping on this, but is big money China hopping on this? Not sure about that. Doesn't seem like it as much as Mago was because Mago's bids were higher at this point, I think. But they're pretty high right now still and the asks are high. The bid is 112, the ask is 220, wow. Shout out to everybody pulling up in the stream. Make sure you drop a like. We have 2,100 viewers in here, but only 1,200 likes. Let's get that even if we can. What G ended up halting. They did have news today. So Wet G is a short squeeze play as well. GCT is not looking like it wants to move up. It looks like it may want to move back down here. But we have to give it some time. Starbucks should be opening up within an hour or two. But it could open up at any point, so get ready for anything. Get ready for any movement either. Any sort of movement can happen today, everybody. We have no clue right now what's in store yet. But I know it's gonna be wild. There's a lot of people viewing this. There's a lot of retail eyes in the United States on this. There is so many retail eyes in the United States on this on this stock. And it's wild right now. Do we have big money coming in from China? Let's hope. Yeah, everybody's retail on here. This entire stream is just filled with retail. HVCW, nice move on the OTC market.
I did fill 53 shares for my pre-order. Starbucks should be available everywhere once it opens. It's looking set up for it to open on every single exchange all at the same time. Definitely Weeble. And everybody else said they can see it. What happens if Weeble doesn't open it right? Well, they are, I think. Because last time it said suspended for GCT when they didn't open it. But this time, it just says halt, which is normal. That says it every time. Last time it was weird, it says suspended, which never happens. So, that's a difference. That's a big time difference. I think I do remember that. There is, a, there is $50 bids and $43 bids on Starbucks, but the minimum, I think, was 50 when Magel opened. And then it gapped up to 50. And then it gapped up, gapped up, gapped up. We could see the same situation, maybe not as intense as Magel was, but we, we we're going to have to find out. Did Ape halt up? So, yeah, Ape halted up, up 20%. There's a lot of retail everywhere right now. Obviously, we're on STBX. But there's retail just, retail shining right now. I broke Fidelity and crashed the app. Y'all, there's a lot of retail on STBX. This is wild. This is really wild. And we're just sitting here waiting for it to open. You'll see instantly. What you'll see is this order book moving wildly right off the bat that's what you'll see and then the chart will pop up for some reason what i've noticed just a tip on weeble is when a new ipo opens up just click the five and then click the one back and forth real quick and then it will pop up the chart or just usually just click the one that's really what you want to look at initially when it opens so just click them back and forth if you don't see the data instantly after the level two starts moving so just just to rev it up Sometimes it just needs that extra push. Just posted a new options play in the private discord. Let's see what HSDT decided to do after it cooled off. It's, it moved back up. HSDT, HSDT has moved back up. It's curling up. It went back, back above the VWAP. On HSDT, this is just the play that we were in way earlier today. For anybody tuning in, try not to chase anything. Yeah, there's lots of ask there on four bucks. So that's interesting. Let's see if it's trending. Let's see the trending statistics here for Starbucks. First, let's check Yahoo Finance. Let's see if they're letting it trend today. Yep, so Yahoo Finance, Starbucks is trending right now. And I know it just, 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 just got listed on stock twits. So it might not be trending yet, but it's going to be quick. I know the watchers are going to explode. I'm surprised it's not trending yet. How many? It doesn't even say how many watchers it has. I can't even load anything on it now. There we go. So right now in Starbucks. Wow. A lot of messages pouring in. If you want a message on start on stock Twitch, there's the link. Or do you, if you want to just say what's up to the star star fam. 
Starfam, what's up? That's my message. If you want to drop a like, feel free. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna go crazy. At least trending, it's trending everywhere. I mean, there's more viewers in the stream than GCT, and GCT ran tremendously. This is the most we've ever had, and this is not even open yet. GCT is falling, but this remember, a lot of people are selling GCT for Starbucks. That's what I'm that's what I'm seeing at least. <clears throat> Yo, what's up? What's up, Randy Jet? I know a lot of people just came in. And are waiting so just be patient and it will open it'll come out of nowhere too you won't expect it this is gonna be the most interesting thing in a while it's gonna be one of the most interesting things in a while these IPOs are crazy I'm refreshing, I'm checking. Vampy Grod said, all who have not, please support Moon like the vid. Yeah, drop a like on the vid right now, on the stream. Get it going here, everybody. Let's get it running here. This one is wild. This one has the most hype. Will it run the most? Doesn't mean it. Doesn't mean it will. Just because th something is hype does not mean it's going to run the most, but it's looking like a gapper. Looking at the order book, level two. Ape, yeah, Ape is, is a back above VWAP. We'll see if, if uh, retail wants to pop it off. AMC is down, though. So what's up with that? I guess Ape is supposed to get back to 10 bucks, right? If the market is efficient, if the market is truly efficient, like, like uh, Adam Aaron thinks, then Ape should get back to 10 bucks and they should be the same price. Tomorrow, and the market is very efficient. This market we live in is very efficient. So maybe he's right. We'll see. Tomorrow, Bocor. Good morning. Did everybody only get eight shares of STBX? Well, if you put in like 100 to 200, yeah, you probably got eight shares. That's what I'm hearing. 100 to 200 bucks got eight shares, but a lot of people got more. So it wasn't only just, you know, eight shares or whatever. People got more. I got 53. So people got more. It was different this time. They gave out more to retail. Makes makes me believe that it's not as hype or there's not as much big money in it as MEGL, but who knows? We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. It's gonna open any moment. What website am I using? All right, Muhammad. It's Weeble at the top pin comment. Top pin comment. Top pin comment. If you use that link, you get 12 free stocks. And the SPY is green right now. S&P is green and it's moving higher.
So that's really good for our open that's coming very soon. SPY is green for now at least. So if this continues, we could see a move that I'm not tired, John Doe. I'm really not, actually. I'm really not that tired, dude. I'm actually awake for this one. I got a nap yesterday, and I got a decent night's sleep. Of course, I'll, like, yawn, probably, but... You said the... Mitchell said the bid ask is way high. Now it doesn't appear to be imminent open. Yeah, it's so weird right now. The bid ask is just it's ridiculous. No, but it should still open anyway. It should be opening. A lot of people say 10:45 a.m. Eastern time, which is that's probably right to be honest. I'm going to get messages ready for my Discord and stuff. So right when it opens, I'll just send it out to people. It's not a buy alert by any means. You do what you do with your money. But I want to keep people informed. HST, HSDT is strong. Spy is strong. APRN is is losing a bit of steam, but it did run a lot yesterday on a red market. They halted Ape up again. No, they halted it down actually. The Jay Z IPO should be this Friday, this week. It should be bigger. That seems like the one where big money is going to come in. This one is bigger retail wise. Retail loves this one, but we need big, big money is the key for all of these like big time, like money. GCT is starting to move up a little bit. <laughs> Did break above the VWAT for now. We're waiting here. Did Jay Z close pre order yet, everybody? Really? Already? You sure? You know what Weeble did with STBX? So. What Weeble did with STBX, they closed off new pre-orders for a lot of people two or three days early. But the people that already pre-ordered and got their order in just any amount, they let you increase that. So they cut it off early, but they still let you increase that. Yeah, Jay-Z, I don't know why people keep saying Jay-Z is closed, but I'm pretty sure it's still open. No, Starbucks is not the same underwriter as HKD. It's the same underwriter as MEGL. Yeah, you can still order Jay-Z.
Make sure you all subscribe right now to the channel. <laughs> subscribe to the channel, everybody. And make sure you do this as well. For example, I'll use Full Send Podcast as an example of how to turn on the bell. So, first of all, click that subscribe button. It should be somewhere around there. Once you click this bell, right there, click All. And that's going to give you all of my notifications for streams, videos. So you can't miss any of these IPOs or any of these stocks. So right now, we're still waiting for it. STBX could open any moment, but we'll be right on, on the dot when that happens. Every time I see a little level two movement, there's a lot of $4 on the ask right now. Who is ready for this to just open and see what we got in store? So currently STBX is not trending on the stock twits, but it did just recently open. Boom ba boom ba boom ba boom. There's currently, wow, holy, there's 2,400 people watching this stream right now. And it only has 1,300 likes. So everybody drop a like on the stream right now. Get it going. Get the stream popping off before this even opens. We're getting very close to opening this up. Very, very close to opening this up. So just hang tight. Keep a cool head. Don't get too stressed out or impatient. Don't do anything stupid. And only invest money that you're willing to lose because nothing on, on this is financial advice. We're still halted right now. Meaning... It's waiting to open. We did not trade any anything yet. Nothing traded at all yet. Nobody traded yet. People did get their pre-orders. I got 53. Shares, 53 shares. Hey, Pierre's trying to break back up here. We gotta keep GCT on there because I know a lot of you are looking at that. Yeah, mentally prepare for it. This guy said mentally prepare for a dip, like mentally prepare for it. Like if it doesn't happen, then that's fine. But if it does, just mentally prepare for it. I know some people are saying your questions don't get answered. I mean, you gotta, you gotta realize there's 2,300 people like just going crazy. I can't I cannot read everyone. If you want a guaranteed read, then just there's a super chat or whatever. But I can't read everyone. They're just going very quick. There's bids at 35. There's also an ask at four. There's a huge ask at four dollars. But that could be anything. 
I need a co-host. I mean, I guess. Not really, though. Do 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 do. <laughs> Anything gonna happen, everybody? And by the way, everybody that's wondering what the next one is after this one, there is already is the next one, and it's a big one. It's Jazani Education, ticker JZ. You can already pre-order it. If you want to pre-order it, there's a link in the top pin blue box right here, but I'll link it as well. You can pre-order it right now. Just sign up and deposit with that link at 12 free stocks. Right now, go ahead and do it, 12 free stocks. And the this has decent revenue. The float has 74 million revenue, 1600 of that is profit. It's an education company, China company. It's going to be 5 million float at $6 per share. But what's really crazy about this one is remember HKD that ripped up, that caused all this IPO hype to begin with? The listed book renders is AMTD. AMTD Digital is the company name of HKD. Ticker is HKD. Company name is AMTD. And guess what? That ripped from 15 bucks to $2,500 on their IPO, but they decided, well, they decided to IPO their company that also IPOs other companies, that it's a book writer for other companies. So it's going to be wild. That baby hole hole the gate open said that baby music in the background. It's chill music. Most night I'd say at least 70% of the people most of the people that chat that they don't like it are, are is like a very small amount. Most people like it though. Fat kid gaming, he said I'm gonna head out. Alright, man. You said AMC tanked hard, really? Did it? Yeah, because they're gonna dilute, man. I've told you this time and time again. Why do I talk bad about AMC? Because it's, they're gonna dilute shareholders soon. So that's why I talk bad about it. I don't really care what anybody says to me. They can hate me all they want. Come at me. We made so much money on other stocks besides just whole bag holding AMC forever. People just lie to your face. And get away with it. Easily get away with it. Because you guys fall for anything and it's, you shouldn't. You gotta do your own research. Never just listen to somebody because they have a big following or never just listen to somebody because you like them, you like their personality or whatever, or you like how their voice sounds or some shit. Do your own research. Yeah, this music's very chill. Very, very chill. We're waiting for Starbucks to open. I do have a pre-order in for Jay-Z already. And I'll pull that up on the screen. It's not a lot yet, but I think I'm going to have to up it. 99% sure I'm going to up it probably today. Because if they didn't close it down already today, then the, I still have the rest of the day to, to increase my pre-order. We can see right here. That I have a 5k pre-order in right now.
And it's for five to seven dollars, 714 to a thousand shares. It's expected to hit the market this Friday, this week. So, so we got another one this week already. Maybe we can just jam out Jay-Z on the Jay-Z IPO. Should we, should we listen to Jay-Z on the Jay-Z IPO day? As long as it's not copyright, as long as I can get it. Oh, ape popped up. Apes to apes going crazy. Ape is very volatile. It got back up though. So I hope AMC shareholders win. Do I think they're gonna get the squeeze that they want? Pro I don't really think so, but I hope they win in some way. So pre-order that IPO, you gotta deposit money. In Weeble. There's a link. Deposit money in Weeble right now. With that link, get 12 free stocks while you're at it. You get 12 free stocks if you use that link. If you don't, you don't get 12 free stocks. So you might as well use the link. Still waiting, maybe 10.45, maybe 10.30, 10.45, we open. You'll know instantly. Yeah, I think it's 10.45. I'm seeing 10.45 that it opens. Thinking it's opening 10.45 Eastern time. Yeah, three halts on Ape already. Spy ripped up for us for this IPO. SPY, S&P 500. APRN is red. SPY ripped up. So APRN rips on a red day, but it goes down on a green day. That's fine, though. SPY is ripping. I'm thinking 1045 Eastern time. It, it, it's it's going to be an interesting open. We don't know if big money's coming into this one or not yet. But we know retail's coming into this one. Obviously, but we don't know if big money is just yet. Just stay calm, everybody. Give me one quick second. Don't leave though.
<clears throat> GCT Ortex data. I don't think there's there's Ortex data for it yet. You can find the you can find here. Let me link it. I want to teach you all how to do stuff. A free one to check cost to borrow. Not necessarily short interest. The cost to borrow, a free one right there. Not short interest. And it's and it's not always as accurate at Ortex, because Ortex is a paid platform. They're always on the ball. They get a lot of free advertising, I'll tell you that. Yep, it is listed on stock twit. So if you want to go over there and message up, do your thing. It should pop up on the watchers list quickly. Not on trending or most active yet or watchers. So it should be soon though. I mean, the amount of retail that's on this one is really wild. The retail alone is not enough. Oil is ripping. Where's the music at? I'll link the music stream. Right there. That's the full credit to Lo-Fi Girl. They're copyright free, so gotta give them credit. If you're copyright free, that's pretty big. What was I about to do? GCT tanking. Halted down, I think. Yeah, people are getting out for this one. I can I can tell you that right now. Should be getting this IPO, 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 whoa, IPO, whoa, 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 IPO, whoa. Yeah, GCT got halted down. HSDT strong still. HSDT very strong still. I GCT halted down. People are just pouring out of the stock. Pouring out of it. Eyeless is kind of down for the day. Still trying to fill that gap. Eyeless just, it, I just don't see it doing much until that gap's filled. HSTT is a ripper. So we're gearing up 30 minute, potentially 30 minutes away from full IPO open. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for the big dog. 
How quickly will Starbucks blow up the minute it opens? We don't know 100%. We have no clue for sure. With the amount of hype behind it, it seems likely that it would potentially halt up at open. So it does seem kind of likely. A lot of options placed today in the Discord. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to check. Is oil ripping? INDO again, y'all, up 44%. INDO up 44%. Wow. Uh, oil keeps moving higher, everybody. Oil's going right back to where it was. Does this mean gas is going to go back up? Oil rises as Saudi Arabia hints at possible output cut. Oil prices climb after, yep, they might cut the output. So that's why it's rising. Saudi Arabia prints. HSDT strong. GCT still halted. Down. GCT is falling, yep. We'll see what happens. See if it gets down to that 25 range I was talking about. Load up on gas. People are saying to load up on gas. I don't even think like you're allowed to store gas like that. <laughs> or like oil and gas. I know you can store a certain amount, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's limits. Remember, you don't have to be on top of every runner. This ain't even moving. I don't know why Weeble always does that. That's the one thing. So. GCT, everybody made a 250% plus profit. Yep. Some people made 380%, which was kind of surprising. They got in low. They literally got in at 250 or 1250. They put an order in and they got filled at 1250 if you got 380%. Let me check that actually. So, how did you get 380% on GCT? Let me see. Let's say you got in at 12.51. That was the lowest of the low. 62. It was the highest of the high. 395%. So some people got in. Let's say 60. Yeah, people got in at 12.51 and, and posted their gains at 60 bucks in the Discord. Sheesh, they were like on top of that. They were really taking the screenshots of their gains. They should, I hope they sold after taking a screenshot of it.
hope this. When you're taking screenshots of your gains, you probably might want to at least consider taking profit. At least consider it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. We're actually at a, I guess you can call it some sort of goal. We're getting really close to it. 125k subscribers. So that's a new like milestone in a way. 125k is getting close. So subscribe right now. You can probably out of the people in the stream, I'm sure there's I need like about uh 250 subscribers. So to out of 3800 of you if 250 of you subscribe right now, we literally hit the goal right on the stream. So we could be about, you know, 20 minutes away from this opening. We'll see. It's going to be wild. Expect anything. You know, I keep saying that, but I just want y'all to be mentally prepared for just anything. Don't have a heart attack. How much money do you make from 124k subs? Um, how much money do you make? Imagine somebody asking you that question. Dang, you, yep, a lot of people just subscribed. A lot of people just subscribed. We're, wow, holy. Brandon, I remember you, man. You're coming back at it with the Canadian dollars. He came back out with it with the 50 Canadian bills. Ben, Brandon Patch Quinn. Thank you so much, Brandon. Again, with a, I think that was your third or fourth, or even fifth, $50 Canadian bills. Sheesh, man, thank you so much. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> no Canadian hate. Say no to Canadian hate. You know, I said, I was just making the video yesterday. You know how we did the, uh, what was it? No Asian hate. No more Asian hate. And I said in the video, because obviously, you know, we're with the Hong Kong people and all this stuff and making money with them. And then, of course, you have those people that comment like, uh, like, dude, chill out. Everybody subscribe. Let's get to 125k this stream. Yep, so IPO Starbucks will be released for quotation at 10.35 a.m. And will be eligible for trading at 10.45 a.m. Thank you, Super Tramp. So we're going to be starting trading at 10.45 a.m. Let's let's street let's uh retweet it. Everybody real quick. Copy the link to the stream and then use this the money sign STBX and I'll retweet the next one. Link to the stream money sign STBX. Make sure you include the money sign STBX, just like that. I'll retweet the first one right now. A lot of hype on this one. A lot of messages. Boom. Money sign is too real. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Just shouted me out.
Instant retweet on that. And by the way, Brandon, man, Patrick Quinn, thank you for the $50, man. Appreciate that. All right, y'all are taking too long. First dude is quick. This guy asked, "What app can you? What app can Canadians use to pre-order IPOs? Can Canadians not use Weeble for it? Any Canadians in the chat? Can you use Weeble for pre-orders or or no?" Sp Spartan said, "RBC for Canadians. RBC, no Weeble for Canada. So you can't use Weeble in Canada. So it looks like RBC. You can't with RBC." You can't pre-order with RBC. So don't get RBC for pre-orders. Can't, is there any that you can pre-order on for the Canadians? Is there any you can pre-order on for the Canadians? Cause I know there's so many Canadians. That's my second, I'm pretty sure that's my second most watched uh, country. Or the, the second country that watches my videos the most besides the US. Let me, let me check to confirm that. Um, yeah, so, wow, 75% of the U.S. watches my videos, but 6% is Canadian, so that's, that's still a significant amount. And then my, and then it goes... And then United Kingdom, UK in the chat. Who's from the UK in the chat? And then Germany, and then Singapore, and then Sweden, and then Nigeria, Netherlands, Israel, Australia, South Korea, New Zealand, India, Hong Kong. I think, I think honestly, just recently, South Korea started watching. No, 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 Singapore because of these IPOs and, and the other ones. You know, we got Mexico, Puerto Rico, Norway, Denmark, Saudi Arabia, Italy, Belgium, Spain, Japan, Jamaica, Switzerland, Malaysia, Ireland. I'm just going in order from who watches my channel in the past month. But 75% is from the U.S., so of course, shout out to US. I'm from the US. China. So we should be opening up in, t in 15 minutes, everybody. 15 minutes. Yeah, Sweden. Actually, Rainy Johnson, Sweden is number six. Number six. Most viewed. Number six country on my viewership. Singapore is ahead of them, mainly because the recent IPOs, I'm assuming. And then Sweden. I think Sweden was always up there, though. So, Sweden, the chat right now. Who's from Sweden, in the chat? There has to be one. Oh, we got, look, some Swedes in the chat. Gothenburg. You from Gothenburg or Gothenburg, whatever. Are you from the Berg? You still drinking tea leaves? Well, it's not really tea leaves, 
but uh, I do suggest this over if you're drinking let's say you're drinking a lot of caffeine or a lot of energy drinks instead of doing that everybody I do recommend electrolytes like you get the little packs you put it in water you shake it up you know what I mean I got more energy out of them I felt better out of them and you get vitamins out of them and you get tea, you get caffeine from tea leaves you get the caffeine from the tea leaves so it's natural so instead of killing your body drinking red bulls like i do, do, do sometimes that's better you signed up for the five dollar discord before it was sold out you might have did it dude you might have done it like you might have been like there was people that were quick so they were you were probably typing it in and they had already sold out so that's what happened man i guess a lot of people clicked it when it said it wa it wasn't sold out and then Everybody was on the order screen at the same time. And the people that signed up after like the first 10 did. Didn't get Discord access because. You know. It's unfortunate that Patreon didn't hold that down. I wish I wish all of the $5 members did get Patreon access, but only the first 10 did. Which is what it was supposed to be, but they shouldn't have let you get charged. So you really got to contact Patreon for that because that is that specific situation. That was out of my control. I, I, I learned from that, that I would never open up that again with, with this many people watching. I would never do that again for it to sell out. But that's just something you learn. I had no idea. Aiden said any Singaporeans. Yo, Gio, with another $5 donation. I know you donated before. I remember a lot of the people that donate have donated before. Thank you so much for the $5 donation, Gio, in the chat. Jacob said, Moon, you're from Baltimore. Yep, go on my Twitter. I had somebody that commented on my video. I don't know if they were being... 100% true or whatever if they were telling the truth, but they said I went to the Baltimore Orioles game They were like yo, I saw you at the game And I was like, why didn't you say hi? And then he, rep he, he replied said I didn't want to disturb you on your time off I was like damn if you see me in real life just say hi like that would be I've never had that happen So if you see me in real life I would be you know, I, I would be like damn. That's what that's wild as hell Brandon Patrick Queen again with the ten dollars. You still have the fifty dollar up, but you donate another Canadian ten. Thank you so much. You can also type a message if you want, but if you just want to donate for support, that's awesome, man. Thank you. I said, I ever look at Oxy? Yeah, that's probably the top, one of the top oil longs. Like, if you think oil is going to be pricey in the future, which I, th I think it probably will be. I do think it probably will be. All right, the bid in the ass is getting weird here. The bid in the ass is getting really weird here. The ass just lowered tremendously. The bid just increased to 100. Did we open? No, we didn't. Oh, they open the order books or whatever. Oh, there's spammers. Something just changed. Oh my gosh, the bid is at $100, everybody. There's a $1,000 bid as well. I don't know if any of my orders are getting filled. I don't think any of my orders are getting filled. Let me see if I can put in a new one. I think this is where you can put in different orders now in the...
won't let me and Weeble won't let me put in any like ridiculously high bids for some reason. But maybe I shouldn't have to do that anyway. Who knows? But it won't let me put in like ridiculously high bids. It just says cancelled. Your order was cancelled. Like what the oh my gosh. It just won't let me put in any bu any really high ones. Maybe it's saving me from doing something stupid. We're about to open everybody. We're literally about to open very soon here. 10.45 a.m. Eastern time we're opening. Before we get to the open here, everybody drop a quick like on the stream. We're already at 1,500 likes. There's a lot of eyes on the play. 2K likes would break the barrier of the algorithm. This is wild. My heart's gonna pound on this one, I think. 2,500 viewers. Let's get the like button rolling here. 1,600 likes out of 2,500 viewers. Sixteen thirty-eight likes out of 2,500 viewers. Let's get it up. Guys, you say, can you please answer? I hear that. I see that a lot, but it's impossible to answer every single chat. As much as I would love to. Don't get me wrong. I would love to do it. Uh, I didn't mean to at everyone on that, but everybody got it. I have to type at here. So the bids are at $100. The asks are very low, but the bids are at $100. There, there's a $1,000 bid. What's your, what's your open predictions? What does everybody think it's going to open at? What do y'all think it's going to open at? What price do you think it's going to open at? We got five minutes. We got five minutes. <laughs> this is crazy, y'all. This is gonna be wild. What the? Ha! 
I have no clue. I'm not even gonna predict. I literally have no idea. But we're gonna find out in less than five. Sheesh, how many people are gonna pile onto this stream? 3,000 or something? What the heck? This is really crazy. I thought GCT was way more hyped up. But this is different. Is this like Hong Kong or is this just America and Canada? And everybody else, but is this like a lot of Hong Kong in here or no? Holy. Holy bejeeber majeebers. Oh my lord, have mercy. Does nobody have a heart attack. Keep it cool. Hopefully they stick stick to it and open it up in three minutes. Three minutes, three, 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 three minutes. I don't think there's anybody from Hong Kong in here. So it's all just, it's, this is, this is the US Smackdown, I think. We'll see how they do. We'll see how we do. And, um, yeah, GCT was definitely Hong Kong and, uh, China and Korea and stuff like that. This is a this is the US Smackdown. They're asleep. 10:45 p.m. That's I wouldn't be sleeping, but I uh, obviously the market's probably closed, I'm assuming. Jay-Z, I think, yeah, I think Jay-Z is going to be the big one. Two minutes before market open, just saying. Get in Jay-Z. This is going to be the Friday big smackdown after this one. Jay-Z, you can pre-order it, do whatever. You don't have to buy it. It's not financial advice, but I'm just saying I'm in it. And there's a link to pre-order it at the top pinned comment. And also I'll link it here. You get 12 free stocks. You get 12 free stocks. If you sign up using that link... And you can pre-order all these IPOs. For example, I got 53 shares. If this opens at $100, I'm... That's crazy. But I'm not saying it will. I don't know if it will. I don't think it's going to open at $100. I highly doubt it's going to open at $100. Maybe like 20 if it if it goes up. All right, everybody, we're switching to only STBX since we're getting ready for this. Here we are. Got the indicators ready. Are you all ready? Is it opening? 10.45? Or are they waiting a longer? It's 10.45 a.m. Are they bluffing? They could wait. On big ones like this, they, they could wait, but... Is it open for you ever? Any, on any other exchange? <laughs> People, calm down. It might open at 11. It's past 10.45. Yeah, it's 11, but there was information out there that said 10.45. Y'all just remember, be prepared for anything. It, it's probably going to be 11 a.m. It, it might have been... 
Yeah, it's probably gonna be another 15. Probably gonna be another 15 minutes on this one. God darly dang. Gosh diddly darns. Gosh diddly darns, these. Spy is still hanging green for us for now, but it did come down. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer, everybody. Slightly longer. <laughs> if you got school, work, or whatever, make sure you Prioritize that first. If y'all want to follow my Twitter for more updates on this kind of stuff, it's at moonmarket underscore. Do not fall for scammers. Do not fall for scammers in comment sections. Do not fall for any other account but a 43,000 follower. Well, it could change, obviously, but a 43,000 follower moon market underscore do not fall for telegrams do not fall for fake crypto returns that they promise you do not fall for anything fake there's only one twitter account that i have there's no other twitter account so just follow it but don't fall for the wrong one showing 25 oh so yeah that's the number i've heard so i'm, I'm seeing all over the place that it's going to open at 25 and that guy just said in sweden it's showing 25. So Swedes are with us. Let's see what opens out though. We don't we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Yeah, according to NASDAQ, it was going to open at 10.45 a.m., but it's obviously not. So we just have to wait it out for a second here. Don't get your hopes up. Prepare for anything. Seriously. Make sure once you get on Weeble, you deposit, and then you'll get your free stocks. Do 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 bo bada ba bada bing bada bam bada boom. Bada bing, bada bam, bada boom. <laughs> Sipping your Starbucks while we wait for Starbucks. Dang, I should have got Starbucks. I was actually thinking about, actually I gotta eat one of my protein bar, protein bars, where did I put that?
I don't know if this protein bar is going to be good or not, but I'm going to try it. Not bad. Not bad. We're eight minutes away. We're open. We're open. We're up 600% at open. We're up six hundred and four twenty nine dollars. We're up. We're open. We're up six hundred percent at open. We're open right now. We're up. Oh, we're gonna halt up right now. Yep. Did my did my bid fail for? Yes, I got a hundred shares at twenty seven dollars. I filled a hundred shares at twenty seven dollars and we're halted up. Let's go. I filled 100 shares at $27. Yes. I put in for 29 because you said people were saying 25. So I put it in for 29 and it filled at 27. And now we're at 29.70. We're up 642% at open right now. It's halted. Nope, it's halted. It's halted. Twenty nine seventy. Halted up at twenty nine seventy. This is the big one. We're up 642% of the day. So you should be up a significant amount from your pre-orders and we got a lot. Well, this is one of them insane IPOs. Let's see if we continue. This looks like Megal so far. Not as, not as big of an open. But the way we halted there. Yeah, you didn't get it at four because dude, it never was opened at four. We obviously you're not going to get it at four. The bids are moving up. I filled a hundred shares so far. I should have had a bigger order in, but it's fine. So it's looking like it's going to halt up again, probably. People are already up 300% on their pre-order share. So boom. Let's see how this goes, everybody. I filled uh, only 100 shares at 27. But I could have easily filled more if I put in a bigger order. I just didn't because I, I'm I'm not gonna risk it all for but you gotta take risks to make money. But I did fill a hundred, so I'm not I'm not I'm I'm actually kinda happy about that. 
I, I looked at, I checked it, and I looked at my phone, and it got filled. So I'm gonna put in even, I'm just gonna put in another order. I don't know how many orders I'm gonna try to fill. But this seems really crazy. Just keep in mind, it might be really hard to get shares. Like I said. But we're halted up 642%. Reminds me of MEGL a lot. We're up to 29.70. I filled, I filled shares. I personally did fill shares. 100 shares at 27 bucks. 100 shares at 27 bucks for me. On top of my pre-order that I got 53 of. So, Weeble's really hooking us up this time. As a matter of fact, they gave us a good amount of shares, and it's moving. <coughs> Somebody got 100 shares at 27. A lot of people got it at 27. 27 shares at 27. 125 at 20 or 29.70. So yeah, I told you I was putting in really crazy high orders. I didn't tell you which one because I don't, I can't tell you what to do. You have to put your in your own your own stuff in. But I told you I was putting in crazy high orders and I got some filled. I should have put in a high, like a larger amount, but it's fine. We should be unhalted at any moment. Unless it's like MEGL. If it's like MEGL, it could wait a while for, for, for it to open. Guys, we're ripping. We ripped. It's halted up. I filled shares at 27. Everybody, we have 2,900 people in here. We just made a lot of money already. Drop a like on the stream and get it to 2,000 likes. We're getting very close to 2,000 likes. This is going to probably be an all day stream with how this is already going. I will probably be streaming all day, so stay tuned. Drop a like, let's get it to 2,000. People are already up a lot of money just from pre-ordering. How much are you all up just from pre-ordering? What percentage are you up just from pre-ordering at this point? Uh, 
Everybody's up 640%. Well, that's what we're up on the day, so that makes sense. So everybody's up 640% from the pre-order and we did get it we did get more shares than expected. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got two donations. Did I miss the first one? What's your buy price cutoff and what's your sell price? I don't have a sell price yet. I have to watch it play out. I'm put I, I'm not I can't tell you what orders to put in, y'all. I really cannot. So I'm just telling you, I have been putting in crazy high orders. That's all I'm telling you. And I'll tell you when I fill. But, and I'll tell you when I sell, but I can't tell you when to. So I'm not going to tell you when to do it. I'll just tell you what I do. Have you ever sold the day of IPO opening? I know Weeble gives you a warning sign that you may be restricted if you sell within two business days. I haven't yet. I think I sold MEGL maybe within two business days. I did hold it though for a good bit. So maybe I didn't get that restriction, but I don't think anybody did. Let me know in the chat if anybody got restricted for MEGL. Did anybody get restricted for MEGL after selling too early? Did Weeble hit you with it? Some people did, so yeah, you can get restricted if you sell too early. It's completely up to you. So if you sell too early, you can get restricted. We're still halted, by the way. We're at 3,000 viewers, a brand new record. Brand new record for the Moon Market channel, beat it by a long shot. Appreciate everybody coming by. Make sure if you're new to this channel, you subscribe to the channel right now because this is not the only thing we do on this channel. We don't only do IPOs, we do much more than that. Make sure you, you subscribe right now. We're 200 subscribers away from 125,000. Drop a like on the stream as well as you come in. We're at 1855 likes, nearing 2,000 to get the word out. So this is a wildest IPO. We don't know what the... We're still writing the story though, so anything can happen. The story is still being wrote. Yeah, Mega was halted for 45 down gone minutes. But you know what happened? It literally gave it time for people to put in crazy high orders... The risky people and it just halted up again it kept halting up so we'll see what happens we will see what happens today right now it's already wild though Right now it's already wild and people are actually making money. That's the difference between this and a lot of other things. And Spy is red, but it shouldn't really matter. It's a long halt. This is a long halt. What sign am I? I'm a Gemini. Yeah, if you're scared, you should not be doing this. If you're scared, you should not be doing this. But if, you all, if all you did was pre-order, you're fine. That's why I kept on pounding the table and pre-ordering and getting the Weeble link because you literally, like I said, it's like a money glitch. It's like a money glitch. Like you just, you get whatever amount you get, you get, but you're up already 600% that quick. So you may not get the amount of shares you wanted, but at least you're, you're making a lot of money off of what you put in. So use that link for the next pre-order. The next pre-order for me is Jay-Z. Same, or the underwriter is HKD. And then use this, and then you get 12 free stocks only if you use the link for Weeble. So get in. Get in right now.
and just pause it today. Get in, use the link to pause it today. Or else you're not going to get the next one and you're going to be late again. I personally would pre-order Jay-Z. I'm pre-ordering all these good ones. Why not? Yeah, everybody's already up 600%. I like the sympathy. MEGL the sympathy. They may not work, but they have the same underwriters. And our new IPOs moving TGL apparently with a sympathy. It's kind of up. A lot of new IPOs aren't up though. China IPOs not really moving too much. HKD flat. I like this usually the sympathy for all these though. Not for all these, but for the ones with the same underwriter. We're still halted though. We are still halted. We're still halted, everybody. Jay-Z hitting the market on Friday. Yo, PB investing, how long is the halt? Th with these, it's, it's different every time. Usually they're only five to 10 minutes. This one is longer just because of the volatility. This, and Magel halted. When this happened to MEGL, they halted for like an hour because of the volatility was just too extreme. So an, it could be an hour. I wouldn't be surprised. It's not a glitch. It's the, it, this is on purpose. This is just how the market works. This is part of it. So when the volatility is this high, it can be halted for an hour. It can be crazy. So just, just know what you're up against here. Yeah, they did it to Magel. It halted for like an hour. <clears throat> It was halted at 10.52, so if it's really an hour, then we have to wait till 11.52, but I'll be here for it. I'll be here for it. They want to they want to get people off the screen so they don't trade it. They just want to get people off the screen for the most part so they don't trade it. But nobody's leaving. That's the thing. I don't think anybody's leaving. I know, it's so dumb and annoying that it halts this long, but what can we do? What can we really do about it? Do, 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 do. But right now, we, yeah, we halted up. We opened at 26. I got in at 27. And we'll see what happens. I got I, I got 100 share fill at 27. It's at 29.70. Obviously, I got my 53 shares at 4 bucks, which was really awesome. That it gave me, you know... I, I, I really wish I put in a bigger pre-order now, but... I'm happy with it. <laughs> Eighteen eighty two likes. Let's get two K likes up in here, everybody. 2k likes, 2,000 likes, and we, and we move on. Let's see if we're trending on, uh, stop Twitch just yet, because it, it takes a little bit for it to get trending. We're, we're trending on new watchers. We are number two, most new watchers in the past 24 hours with 1,000. Ape has 8,000, so that's going to be hard to pass, but... I don't know. Yep, I did watch it. It just says that. 
So everybody can message on here. It's it's gonna trend anyway, so whether you do it or not. Somebody said up 112k. Yeah, this is this, these IPOs are just like we're just making so much money. I can't believe some of these other people are don't avoiding them. I mean, they're literally big, big, large cap companies too. So they're over a billion dollar companies. So it's not like you're trading a small cap. You think it's funny up 112k? That's serious money. STBX sympathy play. This is the main play today. STBX is the main play today. I said it from the beginning. That's why I didn't focus on any sympathies because I knew this was going to be the main play anyway. The only sympathy I, I talked about was I lag. And I did talk about uh, M MEGL, but I focused on this. STBX is legit the play. So, what is the, what is everybody's price prediction at this point? Just for fun, what are we predicting? Where what, what do you th where do you think this goes now? Now that we're up so much, where do you think this goes? Oh, this was a new supporter. Welcome, uh, Jerry Brown, to the Moon Market Supporter. People are saying 250. People are saying 60, 75, 80. Somebody's up 28K. Do 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 do. Anybody interested in the music that I'm listening to? It is lo-fi. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything until you profit, but we'll see. We'll see if this halts. Magel halted up. It gapped up, halted up at the open like multiple times. Not saying this is going to do it, but this is looking like a crazy one, isn't it? This is looking like a crazy one. I was like, Moon got the music going now. Yeah, I got to have something in the background. You know, it helps. Helps me for sure, so I'm I like it, so I'm assuming a lot of you also do. I'm gonna get some more protein in me. All I've been eating lately is protein bars and protein related stuff because I just do because I'm trying to eat healthy lately and doing these streams while eating healthy is good and then I'll eat dinner later. Protein cookie. I know this is a cookie, but it's it's really healthy. This is actually very healthy for you. It looks it looks really good, and it is. So this is what we got. It looks like just a straight chocolate chip cookie, but it's a protein cookie. It's really good. It's not a real cookie. It's 
No more Taco Bell, big guy. Rainy J. Do you eat, still eat Taco Bell? You, I feel like you definitely do. I gotta lose some weight so I can play uh, soccer. Only when you, only when Randy J gets, Randy J gets drunk and smacks Taco Bell. Everybody, that's the that's honestly the move though. That's the move though. It's really good. Oh, wait. I thought we. What did I see? I I could have swore something changed, but it wasn't. It wasn't an open. This is my favorite soccer team, Wolverhampton Wanderers in the Premier League. I didn't open yet. Didn't open yet. Oh, we're open, everybody, and we're, and we're going crazy. We're 800%. All right, all right, all right. We hit 41. We're up 800% right now. Be careful, everybody. Oh, we're moving down now. Are they going to halt us down? All right. Oh, they didn't halt us down yet. All right, what are we going to do? This is very crazy. This is crazy. We're open right now, though. We're unhalted. We're unhalted. Oh, we're moving back up. We're at 40. We're up 900%. We're at 40 bucks. Did they halt us at 40 bucks? I filled shares at 38 again. I filled another 75 at 38. That might be all I'm doing. That's, that's probably all the shares I'm filling. But I filled another 75 at 38. So... And we're halted at 40 bucks. 900% on the day. We're halted at 40 bucks, 900% on the day. That was crazy. So I filled shares at 38 again. That might be all I'm doing. I may, I may decide otherwise, though. We're up 900% on the day after a second halt up. The Bulls won. The Bulls are currently winning. And guys, we didn't just, we gapped up. Look, we, look, from the halt at 20 and we gapped to 33. Hold on. So from the halt up at 2970, we gapped up after the halt up to 33. And then we, we, you know, we went crazy. And then we halted at 40. We hit 41.80. So this is crazy, everybody. We're halted up, everybody. Once again, the second halt up. No halt downs yet. The second halt up of the day. At $40, 900% on the day. I filled shares again. That's $38. That's just what I did. I'm getting a little more aggressive with this one. Just because we've already made some a lot of money on the previous one, so we're, we got some some to work with here. Literally crazy. Literally just unbelievably crazy. 
Yeah, so a lot of people got in at four dollars. Believe it or not, I got fifty over fifty shares at four dollars. So this is why I pounded and pounded and pounded the table in the pre-orders. We have some sympathy players moving a little bit here. I lags moving a little bit. Magos moving a little bit, and we're halted up. Wow, wow, everybody, that's insane. That's literally insane, everybody. This has to be getting, like, all these IPOs at this point have to be getting, like, coverage all over the place. Like, on the mainstream. Aren't these getting coverage on the mainstream at this point? Like, this is just wild. Crazy, everybody. Wow. So I filled shares at 27. 27 on the first open. So I got shares both opens because it let it was trading for a while. So we opened at 26. Halted up to 2970. Gapped up to 33. Oh, went ahead and rode to 4180. Halted at 40. Up. So my average cost is much higher. So I'm 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 high risk right now. I'm in a very high risk zone, but I, I have my average cost is 25, everybody. 25, 27. I have 228 shares. 25, 27. I have 228 shares. We're open, everybody. We're open. We hit 40. We hit we hit 46. 46 21. 46 21. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. We're trading. We're trading. 46 21 at the high. We're trading. We're trading. They want to bring us. They don't want. Oh. They're, we're trading, everybody. We are trading. They're trying to move us lower. We're trading, everybody. Did they halt us down? Really? I think they try I think they're halting us down. So this time, are we still trading or are we halted down? Yes, we're halted down. Okay. So we're up 845% of the day. This is insanity. We're up 845% on the day. We're halted down this time. That looked like it could have been a halt up. But we're up 845% today at 3781. We hit 4621. A lot of people bought at 37, it seems like. Right at the halt. They wanted to fill those orders. So they halted us down after moving to 46. After two halt ups. The action is ridiculous. I like his sympathy is moving up. I like his sympathy. The I like sympathy is moving up right now. We're halted right now.
We're halted down right now. Right now, we're at 37.81, halted down after two halt ups and hitting a high of 46.21. So Magel halted up three times before moving lower. This halted up two times before moving lower. Just keep in mind it's high risk. We all know this, obviously. It's pretty obvious. All right, we're just waiting for us to open now. Guys, you, you keep saying my chart isn't updated, but I guarantee you it's your chart that's not updating. I know this is updated. up 845 or 845% on the day at 3781 IPOing priced at 4 bucks open 26 hit 46 currently 37 A lot of people got filled at 37 because I think that's why they brought it down to fill everybody at 37. There was a lot of orders there, it seems like. We're open. We're hitting the VWAP right now. We just open back up everybody. Let's see if they want to bring us lower or bring us higher. We're hitting the VWAP right now. Obviously the volume is still extremely high. We're opened up. We're trading right now. We're currently trading. All righty. Let it play out here. Let it play out. We're trading. We're at 37. Bulls against the bears right now. Do what you all do with your money. It's trading. It's just trading. It's sitting here. Huge volume. All right, we're kind of moving up here. We're just fighting the VWAP right now. We're fighting the VWAP. We're, we're, we're trading the whole time right now. No doubt there's gonna be halt ups. Just depends which way. 
Halt ups are down. There's no doubt there's gonna be a halt. It just depends which way. We're still trading. The fight right now. It's an absolute fight. The MACD is low. RSI won't update. We're just sitting at the VWAP right now, everybody. There hasn't been like hardly any move up or down in the past four minutes. There hasn't been any move deciding where this wants to go. Still deciding. It's going up and down over the view up. We're now below the view up now on the one minute. On the five minute, we're still fighting it. Now it's trying to get back above the view up on the one. All right, did we halt down again? I think we halted. Maybe they want to fill this gap. We'll see. They halted us down at 3327. We'll see if they want to fill the gap at 2970. We're up 700% on the day. These plays get weaker every time. Uh, Magel was strong, but it also fell to 60. Remember? It went up and then it fell to 60 and then ripped. So. I don't know what you, I, I don't know if, if you're right on that. GCT was extremely strong. You guys got to realize you're looking at a minute chart. You've, it's only traded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's only traded for 10 minutes total. So if you're panicking after red candles, then you, you should not be trading this one. So if you're panicking, just realize this is not the thing you want to be doing. You get red and you get green. This is trading. Just stay calm, everybody. Go to Robinhood and see what? What is Robinhood doing? Robinhood's the same exact for me as it is on here. So I'm not sure what you're talking about. Same for me. So this is getting wild, everybody. You have to stay calm. Calm down, everybody. This is small red. My average is 25. So if, if it goes below 25, then I'm lose money with you. Remember, last on Magel, you know, we had this move up and then we actually had to move all the way down to like at, for Megal it was 60, but it hit the it hit the super trend and then it bounced to 350. So we'll see. Guys, if it's delayed for you, just refresh the stream. If if you think it's delayed, refresh the stream. It's very easy for it to go, to go back in time. Just refresh it.
There's a lot of people that think it's a delay, but it's not at all. You just have to refresh your own stream. Nope, it's not delayed at all. I can check myself, man. It's it's so on point. There's no delay. Guys, just keep a calm head. Nope, there's zero delay at all. There's almost zero, almost zero delay. Almost zero. No, it's no delay. Refresh your stream right now. It's almost zero delay. Refresh it right now. All right, everybody, we're halted down at 33.27, and I think we're opening, maybe. Not yet, not yet. There's 1.48 million volume right now. That's pretty big. We're up 700%. All right, we're open. We're open. We're opened up, everybody. We're opened up. We're opened up. We're opened up. I put the line on the gut right here. This is where the gap fills up. Oh, I'd do a vertical line. Okay, stay calm, everybody. Thank you, Siva Abop, for the five dollar donation. All right, that that would consider that would be considered a gap fill in my eyes right there. That 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 gap is filled. So let's see what we do after that. If we go up or we fall below it. Was it not open on Robinhood for a while? Is that what you all were saying? Did it just open on Robinhood now, or was it already open? All right, we're coming down. We're probably going to halt down again here, it looks like. We're halted down right now to 27.89, up 596% on the day.
Halted down 27.89, up 600% on the day. Gonna be hiding a lot of people from the channel. Ray Magic said, stay calm people. This is the market. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen, exactly. I don't know what if if you are panicking, what are you doing? Like, do you did you not expect? I like, did we not say expect anything to happen? Do you think like you're guaranteed to go straight up when you buy in? If that's the case, if you think you're gonna go straight up when you buy in, you are ridiculous. You are not doing it right, man. I mean, GCT literally went straight down to from 19 to 12, and then it ripped to 350, so. You can always sell whenever you want. I'm just, I'm just streaming it. Just calm down, buddies. This is only a one day play. Not, no, GCT did not go to 350. I meant 62. I was thinking about Megal. Most of y'all got shares at what? Four bucks, so. We just pre-order these IPOs, y'all. 
I bought at open as well. I will be, I am banning a lot of people from the chat that are like saying stuff that's not true. I'm but I've banned so many people from chat. We're literally at 596% on the day. Anybody that pre-ordered is still at 596% on the day. Just calm down, everybody. Wheel and gas still ripping. INDO still up. Nobody bought at four, but yes, we got. We all got shares of $4. I don't know how y'all didn't. Look. I got pre-order filled at 4 bucks 53 $4. 53 shares for 10 k So... I just don't get it. Y'all can't, if y'all are late, then just, just, just admit you're late. You don't have to like force yourself to do anything. I don't get it. I don't get it. If you're late, just admit you're late. You don't, don't force yourself to do anything. I bought in as well at the open. I bought in on the first candlestick and the second candlestick and I'm still up big. All right. I'm probably going to close the chat out and just focus on the stream right now. So I'm not reading the chat anymore. MEGL is down. I lag up 16%. You reopen Weeble real quick. Top gainers of the day is Starbucks is this number one gainer of the day. INDO RVPH went. Wonder if uh, Spy kept moving lower. Spy is slightly green. Starbox is open, moving lower. Moving lower, moving lower. Hit 
Halt it down. Halt it down at 24. Halt it down at $24, everybody. So, yep, this is only um, the U.S. and Canada in this one. There's definitely not... As far as I know, there's definitely not big Chinese money into this one. From the four dollar range, it's up uh, five hundred percent. Yo, let me know in the chat how many people, because I know I remember in the beginning. There was only a thousand people in the stream. There's only there's twenty eight hundred in, in here now that got there. I guess half of them got here late. But drop in the chat how many shares you got at four bucks right now. Drop in the chat how many shares you got at four bucks. I'm not reading the chat, but how many shares did you get at four bucks? Most people, some people didn't pre-order it. They said zero. A lot of people are trolls too. So did, you didn't watch any of my videos. You just came here out of nowhere. If you came here out of nowhere, that's on you. Everything's on you. All right, everybody. Well, if, if since a lot of you said zero, then what are you doing? Get on Weeble. It's in the chat. And you get 12 free stocks. Sign up and deposit right now. Sign up and deposit right now. For any of my OTC people, we are doing the GEGI, GEGI interview soon. Ape is up 21% right now. Starbucks down to 24 right now. The uh, super, super trends all the way down at 12, 12 bucks.
I mean, if you are still confused. Five hundred percent up on Starbucks. Nine hundred percent on Starbucks. This is from the Discord family. You know. I don't know how y'all are. If you haven't made money, you need to join the Discord right now. If you didn't pre-order it, you need to join the Discord. 350% on GigaCloud. 211% on GigaCloud. 230% uh, on GigaCloud. I mean, it's very early too in this IPO. Up 1,000%. 1,700 profit, 10,000 profit, 4,700 profit, 283 profit, 238 profit, $300 profit, 256% profit, 109% profit, 139% profit, 297% profit, 368% profit, 298% profit, 298% profit. profit. This is a lead up IPO to Jay-Z on Friday. Friday IPOs are the best. I'm I'm not reading chat hardly at all. Barely reading it. Cuz a lot of people, I don't know where they came from. They they're trolling. You always have to do your own thing with your own money, everybody. If you wanted to take profit up here, you could have. It's all up to you. Let's see if Starbucks is trending at all. I mean, all I'm seeing is, is gains on this. 900%, 600%. Reason I bought in is because I got so many shares pre-market. I don't even know if I would have bought in at open if I didn't get that many shares pre-market. Or pre-order. So you got to understand everybody. Jay-Z yeah, is the next big one. We'll do it for as long as they're hyped like this. Gap down to 21. Twenty right. About 20 right now. Continuing lower. Nineteen gap down at nineteen fifty four right now. This is a Malaysian IPO.
<laughs> Everybody, I got shares at four dollars. That's why I have a link to the top pre order IPOs here at the very top pre orders IPOs there. I did buy in also. Yes, I did buy a hundred at twenty seven. Who cares? You can literally go back and watch my stream. You can literally find out right now what I bought when I bought it. I said it every time. Went to forty six as well. So it doubled from 27. If I can turn off chat, I probably would right now because it's, there's no point of reading it. Like, it's just joke. We're at 1984 likes. Everybody drop a like on the stream. Let's get a bit more and we're at 2,000 likes on the stream. Don't let the trolls bring you down. Keep the Thank you, Rudy Amador, for the $5 super chat. The Autumn Network said, been a part of the Moon Fam since early Eyeless and Fern days. Moon is legit, y'all. Don't get tricked. Yeah, a lot of people are just in here for the first time. So I'm not, I don't even, I really, I'm not worried about it. 
they don't know how to trade, so... If they don't know how to trade, then they should definitely join the Discord to learn. Yo, if you're if you don't know how to trade these, join the Discord and you'll definitely learn. For everybody wondering what the next pre-order IPO is, what the one uh, that I'm pre-ordering is. Is this one. Jay-Z. This, uh, is a China company, the Chinese company. As you can see right there. Welcome Ale Alexis to the Moon Market Supporter. Jay-Z is a Chinese company. You can pre-order on Weeble still right now. They have 74 million total revenue. Guys, let me remind you all. Let's pull up all the recent IPS. Let's pull up all the recent IPS. So we can remind everybody about everything. We'll get back to the Starbucks price action when it unhalts. I'll have it over here and I'll pull it back when it unhalts. So first it started with HKD. That's what created the movement. We'll talk about that. Then number two was a MEGL, right? All right. You gotta understand these IPOs. So HKD, I played MEGL and then I played GCT. I, the other ones, well, I guess we'll pull up FRZA, but if I pull up FRZA, I gotta pull up V, cause I played V. I didn't play FRZA, I played V personally. And I played TVPC. So we'll pull up those and these are all the IPOs I played. And then GCT and now, you know. So, first of all, it all started with ticker HKD. No, but no retail really played this one. No retail really played this IPO. And it opened at $15 all the way back here. It took a long time for this one to play out. It wasn't an instant like run up IPO like a lot of these are now. The reason that these are like this now is because everybody wants to get on, in on them as quickly as possible. So it opened at $15, it ran to a high of $2,300. And this was a, a Hong Kong IPO, so everybody was like, well, if this one's gonna run to $2,500, what is the next Hong Kong IPO? Well, the next one was MEGL. You know how this one went? Really, really good. But it, did you play? if you played it right, so you can't see where it opened on this chart. Uh... You can't see where it exactly opened on the chart. It's not showing that because it was just such a volatile move. But MEGL was the second one that made a lot of people a lot of money. I made a lot of money off of it. So it opened at $50. It actually opened right here at $50. And then it gapped up to $90. It gapped up here. And then it gapped up to $159. And then it gapped up to $200. And then it went to a high of 236 right off the bat. And then it fell all the way down to $71. People panicked, just like y'all are right now. Some of you are at least. Most of you are actually fine. So that happened. But it went all the way up to... You can't even see the, the peak on this, on this chart, but I'll guarantee right now, I think it will show it on Weeble. Where the peak was.
Yeah, well. So after that drop, you know, from 50 bucks to 214, down to 60, it ended up peaking all the way at $350 per share, which is wild. People made a lot of money off that. Not that not that hardly anybody sold at 300. Maybe some people got lucky and sold at 300. They got up early. But a lot of people sold above 100, above 150, above 200. Then you had Forza that I didn't play. A lot of other people played this one. I played V. So when I knew Forza when I was IPOing, this article came out. And I'll show you that article. So there's an article came out about Forza. And this is what I saw when I was looking into Forza. Management is headed by Chairman CEO Joseph, who has been with the firm since inception and is currently the president and CEO of the firm's parent company, Twin v Power V Twin V Powercats. The firm's power com parent company is ticker VEEE. -E -E. I made a video right away when I saw that pre-market. I uploaded the video pre-market and ended up ripping to 980. And maybe some people were able to make money on Forza itself, but you'd have to be really quick. You'd have to let it get out in like two minutes. But V was the main play that day. Oh, we got a halt up, you said. You mean halt down on Starbucks again? Oh, we halted. Oh, we gapped down to 15. And then we halted up to 1868. So. We did get a halt up. It's a better sign. We hit 15s. So we halted up. So let's get back to the what I was talking about. And then TVPC as well. This is this is this one I alerted as well the same day as um V cuz TVPC is actually the pa parent company of V and Forza. So I alerted this in the Discord. This thing ran up 300%. And then we had GCT this was the big dog banger that we just talked, we just streamed for multiple, we streamed the whole time. We streamed this one the whole time. I didn't even stop streaming. It went down on, I never stopped streaming. I wasn't even worried. So with GCT, y'all just need to learn how to handle a move down. With GCT, we opened at 19, we fell all the way down to 12, it was boring, Weeble didn't open, it was because Weeble didn't open. Yeah, GCT was easy money, drop you. Let me know in the chat, because of the stream, how much percent gains there, how much money you made on GCT, because you had patience. Because you had patience, how much money did you make on GCT? Because you had patience. Now, if you bought at the low, yeah, so everybody, like, everybody's making money. Tons of money. I mean, this literally ran 380%. It ran 250% in a single day. And the people that panic sold missed out on 380% returns. So, I don't know what to tell you. If y'all can't hold through red, then don't play any of these IPOs. Just don't at all. And don't come in the stream either, because we don't want you here. We're not, we're not those little boys.
But we will continue to make money on these IPOs. I know Jay-Z is going to be huge. I'll be streaming that as well. I will be streaming Jay-Z as well on Friday. Jay-Z's a big China play. It's not a Hong Kong play, but it's a China play. Everybody was in on GCT. Every country in the entire world was on GCT. Yeah, Jay-Z IPOs on Friday. I already put my pre-order in. So we're halted up at 18 right now after a big fall. Halted up at 18 on Starbucks after a big fall. Let's see what we do. There's bids at 21 now. We did hit 2,000 likes on the stream. Thanks for everybody that came by. I will be ignoring the chat a lot more. But, um, I banned a lot of people, so a lot of the haters are gone. But thank you all for coming through. I'm going to ban all the people that are hating and lying. So we're waiting, we're waiting to unhalt. All right, everybody, calm down in the chat now. Just let's just keep it normal. Nah, we're good now. We're good now. I get you, Truest. I get you. Let's just wait this one out here. Let's see what happens. RSI is oversold in the one minute. <sighs> yeah, I know. Most of the people in here are actually like supporters, so I, I'm sorry that I got on the haters like that, but it is what it is. Yeah, I did finish my protein cookie. I hope you all are signing up for Weeble right now. So none of you that didn't get the, the $4 shares can get them this time for the next one. I really hope y'all are uh, signing up and depositing. Do, 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 do. For example, I made this is how much I made on V. Remember, I was talking about V made 
this much on V. Four grand on V. Just from that one, that was like a side play. This guy said bought at 36, sold 70% of my shares at 45. Yep. Always got to be taking profit on the way up on a highly risky play like this. When I block somebody from the chat, it's permanent. Like they can't chat ever again. Sometimes I'll put them in timeout, but yeah, if I block somebody or hide them from the channel, they're hidden from the channel forever. You have to though. Have to do it. But I appreciate everybody that comes out here the for just to watch. Brian P, moon market the name you can trust. I thank you. Brian P, been around forever. We're moving back up right now. We're at 22. We're moving up. So we're going to be action all day on this, so. Twenty three fifty right now. Twenty three fifty right now. I mean, remember what happened with GCT? It crashed and then it ripped. It was a different scenario, but not saying this is a GC GCT was a different beast, but you always got to think about it before you start chatting. But you can't predict what's going to happen based on the previous IPOs because they're all different. They're all different. This was the most hype. I, I didn't plan to play this one myself. I put a pre-order in literally last second. Like you can watch the G GCT uh, stream. I put a pre-order in last second because like everybody was talking about it. So I saw the hype and... That's the main reason why I played it. And you can go back and watch the GCT when I bought the IPO. I pre-ordered it like the last day. Here we are, we're moving. 25 right now. Let's 
Let's see if we halt up. Did we halt up? So yeah, we're halted up again, everybody. 2541. Halted up. So there you go. If you bought down here and didn't complain and cry, then you're up again. Yo, Jonathan Ang from Singapore, different time zones, it makes me sleepy. M, you seem mad, but 95% didn't blame you. I know, dude. I, I, I will, I will admit I was probably in the wrong there for, uh, talking all that to the haters. So, yeah, I do, but I, I, I will admit that. I will admit that. You are right, the most people were still supporting, so. Yeah, there's only a few haters to be honest. Probably the people that were here, the first, this was like the first day they're here, because there's 3,000 people. There were 3,000 people in the stream, so. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanted to get people out. I kinda wanted to get people out. There was too many people, like it was way too much, man. That's the, that was too much. Sometimes it gets to the point where like, wow, it's like, you don't want that many people. You know what I mean? Like, it gets to the point where you're like, well, this is a little too many. But everybody that's in here is supporting. Appreciate y'all. Rennie Johnson. Oh. Do a Discord only live stream. Dude, I was thinking about that. I probably should do the next IPO Discord only. Should I do the next IPO Jay Z Discord only? Do it down here, do a huge live stream, or put it at the top, maybe, in the Discord. It's like a mix, half and half. That's... It's like a half and half. Yeah, should I pull it? Pull it, Jay-Z stream. These Discord only. Jay Z stream Discord only, yes or no? Poll is live. Jay-Z, Jay-Z the rapper is going to sue Jay-Z the ticker for copyright, you think? He probably will, dude. He probably had enough of that.
All right, we're resuming the the trading here. We're moving up. We're aggressively moving up. We're fighting the VWAP. This is this line is no longer doesn't really mean anything anymore. Draw a fib. Seventy-two percent said no on the poll. Guys, we're aggressively moving up. No, nope, we're moving down. Starbucks float, I believe, is five million. Yep, free floats five million. It's just crazy. There's still so many eyes on this play, like. People are still trading it like crazy. And once it got down that low, like... It's a little wild. Yeah, the haters know how many stocks we've won on recently. They're just waiting for the moment I lose on one. But we're not even losing on this one. That's a funny thing. There's a lot of people out there that, that, that are going to pounce when I, whenever I get a losing stock, which I will. I'm not going to get it 24-7 winners. And if you think there's somebody out there that's going to win every single time, you're going to be 100% wrong. Even Warren Buffett has lost huge in his career. He's betting huge on Oxy. Hopefully he uh he's he's not always gonna be right. So big bids come there was yeah there was just a big buy there at 25 was that 25 i saw yeah around 25 i'm here with you even though even even if it, even when it falls i'm still streaming everybody Just remember what happened to GCT. That thing tanked and then it ripped. We're going back up. This is not a GCT by any means. Company wise or just overall big money, but this tank this that tanked a little too quick, you know what I mean? It it, it went down a little too crazy. Went down a little. I hope you. I hope we all learned from GCT too. I mean, did we learn? We learned from GCT, right? Al, all world said, "Let the haters hate." That's their job. We still winning. Yeah, we still winning. Oh, Stifler gifted five Moon Market memberships. Thank you, dude. I've never seen that on YouTube before. That's really cool that you can do that. Thank you, Stifler. Five Moon Market memberships were gifted. So five of you just randomly got a membership to the Moon Market channel. So you get a little moon next to you. That's that's really what you get with a membership. 
It's not the Discord or anything, but it's 99 cents. So he paid five bucks for literally five of you to get that. Oh, Alexis Chulo. Gif gifted five Moon Market memberships as well. Everybody's gonna have a moon next to their name. Thank you, Alexis Chulo. Stifler said, you're welcome, sir. Deserves. Appreciate you, man. Oh, you can see. Pedro got a member. Kujolt got a member. All World got a member. Fud Reed got a member. Steve got a member. Five more are about to get members from uh, Alexis. Jonathan Ang took profits. Moon boss. Good night, everybody. Good night. It's only 12.39 p.m. for me, but I hope you have a good night. Zach Allen, Moon Market's member. Moon Market supporter. Welcome to the Moon Market supporter, Moon family. Maybe you'll get one, Big Block. So maybe somebody, you, you'll get one of the gifts. Sinto Man said, this is a great family. Th love you all. Thank you. Appreciate that. Kuzlo said, subscriber since 2020. Really? That's crazy. You saw the rap videos back then? <laughs> Not the rap only videos, but the... I put in stupid little raps in there. They're actually kind of good. Yeah, it's, 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 it's literally $5 to get five memberships, so... That's how they're doing it. And I appreciate everybody that did it. And the memberships, listen, they're not, they're just support. They're just support. They're not, you don't get anything out of it. Just a moon and you get all the emojis. For example, look, like I'll drop these emojis. Like all that. Stuff. Oh. Click the wrong thing there, but for example, like the emojis, like that, like those, like those. Everybody that's a member, drop all the emojis. Use them up. It's just 99 cents though. But the Discord is really where the content is at. That's where you really get the, the members. Chris Kate said coming in late. Oh, I can't tell you when to buy, man. I can't really do that. I hope you pre-ordered. So we're moving up, everybody. How come y'all were so excited for Starbucks, but not GCT? As I mean, you were excited for GCT, but how come... I'm just interested in the sentiment here. Why was Starbucks catching your eye more? Because there's way more people in this one. The whole time. Yeah, people were late to GCT for some reason. That's the only that's the one I pounded the table on for two weeks. Because we saw what happened to GCT. Oh, so you saw what happened to GCT and you were like, this is the next one.
Yeah, the GCT stream was amazing. Yeah, and there was... I don't know why I let the hate get to me on this one, to be honest with you. I don't know why I let it do that, but the GCT tanked it open, too. This is trying to break up here. GCT tanked it open, too. Because <laughs> you hyped it? I, I, I made two videos about Starbucks. I made like four or five, six videos about GCT. Overhyped Starbucks. I made videos about Starbucks because I bought it. I pre-ordered it myself. So that's what... I, I just tell you what I do. I, as always on this channel, I just tell you what I do. And it's my journey. And you guys are here for it. Guys and girls. How do we make it member only? Should we try it for a second or no? I don't even know how to do it. How about this? We make it subscribers only. That should be the case. Subscriber only now. I should have had that the whole time. So if you're not subscribed, you cannot chat. I wish I had that the whole time. And guess what? People are flooding with subscriptions now. There were so many people that were not subscribed. Banned a lot of them already, but... Thomas Tipton said, More hype because the name. Starbox is a dope name and reminds me of Star Fox. Giga? You, you tell me Giga Cloud? I thought Giga Cloud was way cooler. Starbox was cool, but Giga Cloud was way cooler. In my opinion, at least. Giga Chad, I know, I still love that. Even though it fell, even though it's down 31%, I still love that movement. I'll never forget that, ever. GEGI is up another 8% today, everybody. Our OTC play. Did APRN went red, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I should have had the subscriber chat the whole time. We'll, th we'll, we'll think about doing Member only. I wish I could do Discord member only. Chat, but that wouldn't work out. We're gonna do Discord streams only soon, I think. We're going to. Yeah, the similarity between Starbucks. Starbucks and Starbucks. Yeah. It's gotta be. People lit I bet you there was a lot of people that literally thought that this was Starbucks IPOing, even though they're already publicly traded. I bet you. You can make a stream member only. You can you can make a whole stream member only. But if I was gonna do that, I would I would do a Discord only. I wouldn't do it member only. There's a lot more Discord members. There's a lot there's a lot more Discord people than members anyway. I couldn't believe there were 3,000 people watching this. Like, that's, that's, that's crazy. I thought there was going to be less than GCT. Just considering that I literally made so many videos of GCT. So many videos of GCT. And I only made two videos of Starbucks, and it was right before it IPO'd.
but I did talk about it on the stream. So I think when I talked about it to like 2,000 people on the GCT stream, that's what got at least some of my subscribers into it. I know there's so many people that aren't even subscribed to me that or don't even know who I am that are in this just from Twitter and everything because there's so much. GCT was wild, but it was the next day when GCT ran. GCT didn't even run till the next day after the IPO. Starbucks still is the biggest gainer on the day, so that's that. Yeah, we got halted down. And then after Jay-Z, let's look at the IPO guy on here. Is there anything really after Jay-Z at this point? Global Engine commences US IPO effort. The firm provides I ICT consulting services in Hong Kong and Taiwan. Did we did we just find the next IPO that quick? Hong Kong? Is this already the next Hong Kong IPO? We gotta be careful doing too many IPOs, everybody. I might just stream these and and uh, instead of making videos on them, I might just stream them and then make my normal small cap and OTC videos. What do you think of that, everybody? Or should I continue to make videos as well on the IPOs? What do you think, everybody? Yeah, everybody's doing IPO videos, so how many people do we need them? I mean, I know I'm the best at doing them.
Well, yeah, I only make vids of stocks I believe in and IPOs that I think can rip too. Like this one, I with the amount of hype, like it ripped, it did rip it open. I mean, this 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 IPO is still crazy. There was just trolls in the beginning. This one doesn't have an IPO expected date yet. This was just written, that was just written today. Who knows if, if Hong Kong IPOs will even be popular at that point. So Starbucks, I don't think any of these IPOs are, are, are worth it. I know there's a lot of people talking about PXMD IPO. I don't know why either. Somebody says tech at JPPPYY. What the heck? I don't think this is an IPO. So I don't know about that, dude. Gotta be careful about people telling me about IPOs now, because I know people are just trying to get me to to talk about their stock. Who knows if there's like companies or that are paid to come in my stream and try to spam. Literally. So I gotta be careful with that. <laughs> Moving right now. Yeah, GGI is a big, it's about to go to a penny, y'all. So that's why you can't, these IPOs are great, but you got to stay on track with what, with our other players. We're moving. Overall sluggish day in the market I'm I'm seeing. Other like you know, other than this IP that's just got crazy volume. 4.52 mil. Almost the entire float has traded hands. But GGI as well on the OTC is ripping. That's literally been like the only that and H uh, recently at least that and HVC HC uh I'm freaking blank. HVCW. We've been talking about in OTC land lately. I also have a video that I uploaded not too long ago of how you can pre-order IPOs of like a tutorial video on how to do it. We're uh, 
50 subscribers away from 125k 50 subscribers away from 125k see if we can do it What a beast GGI as well. It's got a good story. It's got an interview soon. I got to take a look at some stuff. Well, I mean, it's falling off a little bit. You said. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, it is. I mean, compared to early. It's trending downwards for sure. You feel another emotional vi video on the horizon? No. Definitely not, dude. <laughs> Probably not, dude. Not for 125k. If you give me a million, then maybe we'll get another emotional video. But 100k, trust me. I even, like, when I watch other YouTubers that have a million, they'll be like, dude, 100k was the biggest out of anything. So, apparently 100... I've never hit a million, obviously, but apparently even if you hit those bigger milestones, apparently 100k just hits different. This hits different. Yeah, Nasty Habit said, if you're afraid to lose, don't play this big boy stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot on the stream on um Discord it shows me that I'm streaming. It's really cool. Yeah, so seventy percent out of a thousand dang a thousand people voted for the Jay Z Discord stream only. And seventy percent are saying no. Maybe y'all should join. That 70% needs to hop in the Discord. I'll probably still stream the whole rest of the, de the day. Till 4. Don't really want to leave y'all hanging on this. Still going. I still like APRN on like these le these levels. I think you can curl. Nope, I still have shares here. You'll have no idea what I do. Y'all think you know what I do. Y'all think you know exactly what trades I make. Imagine.
I mean, Ape literally crashed hard as well. From 10 to 5, cut in half, just like this 46 to, yeah, this, I mean, this crashed a little harder. But it also pumped a lot harder. So they're onto these meme stocks. They don't want them to rip. But remember what happened to GCT. Remember what happened to GCT. Yeah, GEGI, I know. If you're an OTC person, you're happy. Oh my god, it's 16 percent on the day now. I've my position my GEGI position has significantly skyrocketed. And I even bought in again lower when it dipped on that 20% dip day. I bought in at sixes again. Now it's back to eights. So. What is this? No movement at all for a second there. T-Bone said we need some rockets in the chat. Maybe that will give us luck. You said, bro, NXMR had reduced so many shares, had has more news and audit this week. Yeah, I mean. Is it two cents? I call that when I was at five cents, I literally did I not say in the first, I'm pretty sure. In, in not the first, but the second, I think. MEGL video. I also said NXMR in that one, and I thought it was going to fall from... Wow. Wow. GEG, I hit nines. GEG, I hit nines. Wow. I've been talking GEGI since the first ever stream. I mean, I've been talking it the whole time for since twos on my channel. I think I first talked about it at twos. I bought it. I can show you my two buys. I, I showed it on stream on one of the GCT streams. But GEGI is a rocket. Alan said, I thought I was sub before, my bad. All good, man. Sometimes you can't notice. Ever since I turned sub mode only on, people been subbing because now they have to, to chat. It reminds you to. Whatever companies were IPOing during this period of time, 
got really lucky that they IPO during this period of time because it takes a while to, it takes years to get your company to, to get to the point where you can IPO. And these companies ha happen to just be here when IPOs are extremely hype. So they're lucky that they're able to IPO at this period of time. What was the peak of the stream? 3,025 people. Oh my gosh. There are 3,025 people in this stream. Ignore the trolls you had. Thank you, Justin, man. Should I order something on DoorDash right now, everybody? Or is that like, it's gonna be unhealthy. It's gonna be unhealthy if I do it. <laughs> I just had Chipotle recently. DoorDash is expensive, like crazy expensive now. <laughs> Zig, I hear, I see you in the Discord. <laughs> Zig said, in our Discord said, Moon talking about ordering food instead of talking stocks. Fearless leader. <laughs> So you're hilarious, dude. You're a funny guy. <laughs> I know. I know you do, Zig. I love you too, man. Today's just like... It's a weird day in the market. GEGI is the one, is the ripper. I mean, there's really been no point to talk about anything be that, besides the IPOs, GEGI, APRN is one of them we've been talking about. I'm trying to talk about less stocks, but high quality stocks, along with the IPOs, of course. Star Six said, I love you, Moon, no matter what. Appreciate that. Coming down a little bit here in Starbucks. Coming down a little bit here in Starbucks. GEGI is proving all flippers wrong right now. People that flipped out for a little tiny gain is getting screwed because it's up to nines. <laughs> I 
I'm going to Maryland so we can get some Taki beef stick. Oh, dude, I should... Oh. I need to get those right now. I think I still have them. Be right back. Let me grab the Taki beef sticks. Back with the Taki beef sticks. Taki beef sticks in the chat. Y'all see the beef sticks? What y'all know about the beef sticks? We're gonna get back to OTC alerts in the Discord as well. And uh, small cap alerts as well. Always remember, guys, it could always be worse. You could have bought NFTs at the peak. You could have bought NFTs at the peak. So if, whenever you lose, just always know it could be worse. Although a lot of you should be... At least have got shares at $4. At minimum. All of my subscribers at least got shares at $4. Just like you should be getting, um, what's up? Jay-Z shares at $6. You should be getting Jay-Z shares at $6. <clears throat> 
free my grandma what's up dude i feel like you've been on this channel for like literally since the beginning but you kind of like what we're on and off i know you were in in the chat since like some of the first ever videos Looks like people want to sell off. VS doing well. This is the Discord play. A lot of people, a lot of the stock ballers were calling that. What's the IPO link? You mean where to pre-order them? Right here. Use that. You get 12 free stocks as well. Jeez, this guy's screen is dirty. Look, I was looking at this Twitter post and look how dirty his screen is. Ew. Ew. It's like clean up your screen, dude, before you post a picture. Like, that dude hasn't cleaned his screen in years. If your screen looked like that... I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Everybody, if, if your screen looks like that, get a, get something right now. And wipe it off. No, these don't give you Cheeto hands, actually. You said H C V W not on a stock Twitch. It's H V C W. H V C W. That's why you're not finding it. As you can see, it went to fill that gap. Again. Keep keeps filling gaps on this one. HSDT is that one moving again? Yeah. This has done very well today, especially for a red day. Hey, it could be worth, you could have bought BBBY at over $20. Let's 
A lot of people did too. The volume did get a little bit higher. Did rise a little bit here. Mainly as we were going down though. Let me end that poll. Yeah, we've been talking about GGI forever. <clears throat> Such twos. So the Jay Z stream Discord only. 1.3k people voted. 69% said no, 30% said yes. I don't know why it says 69% when it should be 70, 30, but I, I guess they just said, screw it, let's do 69. It's close enough. I don't know where the 1% went. What is this girl saying? Same exact thing as them telling me. You have to stop dating day traders. Ladies, if a man says he's a day trader, cut it, go, you gotta leave. That, that, that's the same exact thing as them telling me that the woman <laughs> go, you gotta leave. That, you have to stop dating day traders, ladies. If a man says he's a day trader, cut it, go, you gotta leave. That, that, that's the same exact thing as them telling me that the Wolf of Wall Street's their favorite movie. It just makes me run in the opposite direction. And I encourage you all to do the same. That's not a career. And I'm not saying he needs to have a career, but if his career is being a day trader, you fucking book it, bro. And this girl's career is, is TikTok. <laughs> what a joke. For real, that's a joke. Yeah, she's broke. She says that until the, she finds out that that day trader has a million dollars. Then she's uh. Changing her mind real quick, probably. We need to reclaim, we need to reclaim 24, everybody. We're gonna need a big push here. We need to get back above VWAP. Let's see if we can get, we're not close to power hour yet, but. I don't know if that was her Twitter account or somebody just posted that. I doubt that was her Twitter account, but like, I don't know why. Stop day trading swing trade. Yeah, I'd say, uh, we're more swing traders on this channel. No doubt about that. 
Day trading is a little bit different than swing trading. A lot different, actually. Very, very different. I keep getting all these meat sticks. I gotta chill on them. I gotta chill on the meat sticks. Hold up. This is bullish. I gotta break up. So this is a bullish wedge, everybody. So See this bullish wedge to the it moves down the bullish wedge. So you would think a bullish wedge would a lot of people automatically think oh since it's going up in a wedge it's 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 bullish but that's bearish. If it's going towards the upside in a wedge it's bearish. If it's going towards more of the downside in a wedge it's bullish. And usually and it, a lot of times it'll break up out of it. Um. Just to let you all know that. It's a really important, pa simple pattern to know. So, GCT didn't rip till the next day, and I think it's because the Asians didn't get to trade it till the next day. So maybe the Asians will trade this tomorrow. We'll see. So look, let's see if this wedge plays out. As we stated, it was a bullish wedge. And this is this is a one minute chart, so this is just a this is kind of just a day trading thing. If you're playing it like this. But it's just to learn as well. As you can see, it is breaking out of it. So these um, these patterns do work if you learn them. See, look. See, do you see that? Do you see how that works? How that bullish wedge just broke out of it? They work 50% of the time? Not... I mean, yeah, there's not always guaranteed to work, but I would say more than 50% though. Look at it's ripping on the one on that. Just clean break out of that wedge. Boom. That's how you can day, that's a example of how you can day trade too. Like, let's say you were like, you know what? I just want to trade this for literally a, a quick, like what? 
5% move, whatever that was. Maybe more than that. Well, it was a $2 move. It went from 2032 to... Yeah, that was a pretty... I mean, it's a two, over $2 move. So if you were just day trading and you were like, you know what? You found this wedge on a chart. Boom, you get in right there. Boom, you take profit during this candle. That's just an idea of how to day trade. If you put big money into it, let's say you put 10 grand into that right there. This is what people do all the time. Let's say you put 10, 20, 30 grand right there. You saw that wedge, you got out, you probably made what? A lot of money, two, three, four, five thousand dollars, six thousand dollars in a single trade off of just that move. People do that all the time, for example. Now we're moving up. See, look at that. I saw that just from learning over time. I just saw that, I noticed that. Do they always guarantee it's gonna break out? Nope. But it can. Can't believe GGI is at 9 1. APR and making, making a comeback right now. Yeah, it's starting to curl back up. Hit six. Go GGI. Yeah, there's a decent bit of people that are always in the stream. That are also in GEGI. Just because they watch the channel too. Watch the videos. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, should I stream tomorrow too, or is that should that be my my stream day off? Wait, I forgot. Yeah, it's Tuesday. If like if I wake up and Starbucks is like ripping like like GCT last time Like I woke up and it was up it was up 70 well I woke up early at 4 a.m. It was up 20% woke up at 6 or 7 and it was up 70% I was like nope I'm streaming So if Starbucks is, is Starbucks does the same thing which I don't really 
expect uh, like i don't know but i don't really expect it to do that to be honest with you i don't really expect it to do that to be honest with you yeah we need the scanner back in the yeah we do need the scanner back in the discord i could always try you know what i should do right now i should just try putting the scanner up in the discord right now to see how it reacts to having two streams up at once. Should I do that? Just to see if I can do the scanner and the live stream at the same time. Cause this is a laptop I use for the scanner. Hasn't been in use in a few days now. Since it's late in the day already. Did I and I and D or I and D I meant? Yeah, oil is still ripping. I mean, my I could always stream like just non IPO like stuff. I mean, like, not only were we also hit a lot of bangers, like non IPO, like during the IPO streams, there was a lot of plays where I was like, we hit and I was like, dang, if I was streaming, like non IPO people probably would have made a lot of money on these. Everybody wouldn't just focus on the IPO as well. But it's also really risky day tra uh, trading penny stocks and small caps throughout the day. That's why we usually swing, swing trade. See the bull. I mean, it broke out, but doesn't mean it's always gonna last. Especially on the one. This is just a one. Let me go on the five. For everybody that doesn't has never seen it, this is what the scanner looks like. It's 
a live news feed and it's also scanning stocks throughout the day. That's in the Discord. So I just started a second stream. Let me know since I started a second stream on the same Wi-Fi. Let me know if it, if this stream is is still the same or if it's lagging. Let me know if this stream is lagging at all. If not, then I can use the scanner and stream at the same time. fine okay well then we're good then The scanner is in there. -E well, Starbucks is hitting new lows, basically. Well, not new lows, but it's it's, it's tanking here. Still gonna be on watch for me, the IPO, the Starbucks IPO. But basically you would have had to took profit up here. But it hasn't done anything since. I mean obviously if you just pre-ordered and you got shares at four dollars then you're good, but it hasn't done anything since. Yeah, GCT did have a dip at open. It didn't do it. GCT did nothing. It was just like this, actually, pretty much, except it didn't gap up. It didn't gap up at all. Or, like, it didn't halt up. It gapped up a little bit, but it didn't halt up. And it wasn't up 300%. So it 
So it's a it's a little different than GCT because GCT was only up like tw what twenty percent at these levels. This is up three hundred percent at these levels. But GCT didn't do anything. It did basically this until um three o'clock. But that's when Weeble added it. So it was a lot different situation. So don't think it's the same. Yeah, these these midweek IPOs, these Tuesday IPOs are not. This is my first Tuesday I, midweek IPO. <sighs> Gave it a try. This is my first win, midweek IPO. Did bounce down here last time. So it is very over it's oversold right now. It's at 25 RSI. It is oversold. The GCT IPO was supposed to be a Friday IPO. Friday IPO, but ended up IPOing on Tuesday, but the, it ran on Friday. Friday IPOs are always the best, it seems. What time does Wolves play right now? Score prediction. I hope they score at least two goals on a team like that. They scored a lot of goals in the friendlies. It is oversold at 23 RSI. Straight down. Starbucks was always a one day play. Was it supposed to originally release tomorrow, really? Still moving lower here. Yeah, I mean, Starbucks is literally number one trending on stock twits. Not the number one most active and also number two most watchers, but it is number one trending. Doesn't mean anything, though. 
I mean, it gets more eyes on it, but it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, this is very different than GCT. GCT was one of the most weird experiences ever, but it was perfect. Like I said in the beginning, the big money wasn't going in this one. But it had a really interesting open. It went up to 46. From 26 open. There's been so many people watching this one compared to GC2. Not that big of a difference though, to be honest. Could be another TGO werewolf. Yeah, where it absolutely crashed and then ripped out of nowhere like end of day. That's what we hope, right? At this point, but you don't want to grasp on to hope. To only hope. Randall said, what are you doing, man? I don't even know, dude. I have no clue. I'm going beast mode. Yeah, hope is a very dangerous thing. That's, that's very true. What time did TGL rip? Let me check that again. I'm not saying this is gonna be a TGL, but I, I mean, we always gotta look at previous IPS. This one was wild, but did it gap up like that? It, opened, it wasn't up like 300%, right? So it's different, everybody. It's different. You can't say it's gonna be a TGL when it was, when it was completely different. This drop, I mean, it, it ripped early, so I, I wouldn't say, you can't say another TGL, but they're all different. We haven't seen too many that just went straight down and never recovered though, especially with this height. So keep that in mind. Hit a new low of the day. It's hitting new lows of the day. It's definitely not looking too good, but... Definitely not looking too good. See if it bounces off the super trend here.
We keep hitting new lows. No, that's not a that's not a wedge. That's not a wedge. <laughs> the wedge isn't straight down. What I drew earlier was a wedge on the one. That was a wedge. See how it goes down but consolidates. This, look, look what happens when you try to w draw a wedge on this. There's no wedge. It's just straight down. There's no actual wedge. You see that? There's no actual wedge. You can't draw the wedge on this one because it's not one. This was a bullish wedge because See, look. And then it broke out. But that is just straight down. That's a crash. This is a crash, everybody. It's probably a lot of retail selling too because a lot of retail got shares at $4, so. And it's halted down now. So. There's now no telling of how far this is going to go since there's no history, but this is put it at 10 and then four is IPO price. Crash and then rips back up to 30. So that could have been your exit if you wanted to get out. This is why you need to be on the pre order gang. You need to be on the pre-order gang. Make sure y'all are on the pre-order gang. What 
What if you're from UK? You gotta ask uh, other people that are from UK. Anybody in the UK in here that can pre-order an IPO. I'm not blaming you for not being on the pre-orders, but I've been covering pre-orders for a long time. So, I'm not blaming you, I'm just telling you, you know, get on the pre-order gang if you want to still continue this and get in at four bucks. You can tell that that Megal had the Hong Kong gang. Can't, the Hong Kong gang sounds very discouraging. Trusted your prediction, dude. What do you mean? You can never predict if a, where a stock's gonna go. You can only chart it to the best of your ability and. Okay, the trading is resuming. See if we get a bounce here. Getting some movement here, getting a little bit of movement. Volume spike. Alrighty, did we halt up now? So, I think we did. Can it update? Yep, we halted up at 1629 there. Halted up this time. It's good when you halt up. Yeah, it's, it's halted so many times. Too many to even count at this point. You can't keep, I try to keep track of the GCT halts, but the GCT halts were halts up most of the time. These are mostly halt downs, unfortunately. Why do they halt so quickly on the, I, that's, that's, yeah. I don't know, man. But it's not a bad thing to halt up, by the way. It means, you know, 
it was going too fast. It was going up too fast. And a lot of the times you can even gap up after a halt up. So halt ups are not bad all the time, but there is a lot of scenarios where you, if you just let it rip and rip and rip, if you let it go, it can go even further. Hold up. That was Hong Kong telling me they're running it on the phone. They just, Hong Kong just called me and said they're running it. Just kidding. I wish. Guys, we're look, look. We're one single subscriber away from 125K. One subscriber from 125K. Who's gonna hit it? Oh, we lost one. <laughs> Somebody unsubscribed. Somebody unsub. They hit the unsub button. Oh, we want we got it. Twelve thousand and five. Or I mean that's how that's how the streaming gets to you. 125,005. I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. We hit a, a bunch of you, you just subscribed and then you unsubscribed and then you resubscribed again. Here we go, we're about to unhaul. A lot of volume came in there. The the biggest buy candlestick sense this this move here. Dude, yeah, I gotta stop eating these Takis. I'm done with these. I had to eat something to keep myself going. Otherwise, I would have passed out. We're resuming trading right now. I don't even think Malaysia was able to trade their own stock yet.
Ryan said you were the 124,999 sub. He said you made a lot with I listen to YBL. So did you unsub and then resub? I appreciate that though. Yeah, it halted up and dropped again, so that's not- <laughs> that is not a good sign either. Remember to go vote. There's nothing for me to vote for, man. Maybe later during the actual elections. I will be. Trust me, I will be. But not... I already had my primary. In my state, we already did. Dude, get you a sandwich from Grubhub. HVCW did go down a bit today. The 008. Wonder if they had good or bad news or bad news. <laughs> they did have news. <laughs> Look, uh, Lou, Lou Carberry, he said it was you that, un that unsubbed and resubbed. I know, I know, 
I wasn't surprised when you did that because people do that all the time to other YouTubers that are about to hit a big milestone, like they're doing it live and then people unsub to just mess around. You sub and unsub. Nice, dude. If you unsub, you're gonna be missing out on bangers. Yo, call your local, call some like investors, call some Chinese investors up. See if they can pour a bunch of money in. Call your Chinese friends in China. They wake up tonight, 12 hour differences. Yeah. I wish we had the same, we were trading at the same time. Imagine if. China and the US and Canada everybody was trading at the same time it would be it would be too much I guess the heck Should we see what happens at power hour? I mean, not power hour. Well, power hour and after hours. Everybody. Should we see what happens in after hours? Guys, just keep in mind, like, y'all do whatever you want. If you want to get out, you can get out. I mean, you you know that you're going to make it right back. If you want to stay in, stay in. It's all your money. You make your own decisions. If you want to take a loss, take a loss. Like I've talked about on the channel. If you, if you don't want to bag hold, don't bag hold. Go to the next one and make, make it all back plus more. It's If you bought in at four bucks, do whatever you want. If you bought it, if you got the pre-order, a lot of you are just sitting on your pre-order. Do what, do what you want with it. It's the decision you have to make. Completely up to you. I'd say like 10 bucks. If you're watching this and you don't know what to do, 10 bucks. I mean, we're kind of bouncing. We're trying to bounce off here at 1350 or 14, 1350 area. But if it really breaks down again, 10 bucks is going to be that support. And then really four bucks because four bucks IPO price. But if it gets back down to four bucks somehow, to not today, it probably won't today. But if it does, and it's gonna probably bounce off there extremely hard. Ten bucks, it'll probably bounce off before the. I don't see it go down to four, but I've seen. Megl got down to half, or no, double its previous IPO price. Double its IPO price of four dollars when MEGL got down to eight bucks after it ran though. That was after it ran. It went down to eight bucks and then it went to it went up up a hundred percent again to twenty four. A lot of people are talking about ten. Jay Z pre order, yeah. Jay Z pre order closes Thursday, so. Definitely get on the pre-order, gang. If you want to get the pre-order, gang, where we got... I got 50... Over 50 shares of this IPO at $4. Get in there. That's the link. Sign up. Deposit. Use that link, though, because you get... Uh, 12 free stocks. 12, 12, 12 free stocks.
Kyle Flush said, just submitted his application to Weeble using my link. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. You also get 12 free, so you got to deposit to get the 12, though. You got to deposit. If you just sign up, you won't get it, but if you deposit, you'll get the 12. That's pretty significant, getting 12 free stocks. It's a huge deal, in my opinion. I mean, you're not, you're not really doing anything. You're literally just signing up and depositing. Oh yeah, remember I said 25 bucks on GCT? It bounced right off that. It's, yeah, Starbucks is going down. Maybe it'll go down to 10 here. They halt it down. They halted it down right now. GEGI is still at 20% of the day, the year 09. Do 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 Twitch now lets partners stream on rival Oh that's interesting. Twitch now lets partners stream on rival platforms like YouTube and Facebook. I think previously if you were streaming on YouTube, 
you couldn't like if you were streaming on Twitch, you couldn't stream on YouTube at the same time. They wouldn't allow you. If you're a partner. But now apparently you can. Not that I would even stream on Twitch, but I mean if I guess if you're just doing both at the same time, why not? Who halts this? Oh, the market halts it. The market halts it. Like Nasdaq halts it. They halt it. Not Starbucks. The the company has nothing to do with how the stock trades. They just the company just works on the company. The people trade it. The market is supposed to price it at its fair value naturally by how much revenue they make and how much assets, which sector they're in, all that kind of stuff. But no, they don't. They don't control the, the the trading. The company does not control the trading of the stock at all. People keep saying GCT popping. I mean, it is slightly. Down to that 25 range. I mean, it's looking better right now than Starbucks. EDP. Yeah, the stock halts when it's mo when it moves 10 to 15 percent in like a sh very short period of time. But yeah, if you're like sitting here like what a like you miss something or you miss the four dollar shares. Just use that weeble. Alright, we're resuming right now. We're resuming right now. Either we bounce up either we go back and bounce off ten or we move from here. Keith Ray, you should open up a Discord room for you. Every day you'll tell everybody. I mean, message me. I'm not going to open up a sp specific room on for you only, but if you're a good trader and you can prove that to me, uh, just message me. You might be able to become a stock baller. Welcome to the Moon Market supporter, Richard Morales. All right, I think we're. I think it wants to go back and bounce off ten. Honestly, probably be better at this point. If it drops below 10, we might be in some trouble. I'm actually thinking about adding some down here at 10. Might want to keep going down. It doesn't bounce off 10. We might be in some real trouble here.
Oh, I mean, there's a profit and loss room. The, the room is for profit and loss in the Discord. If you want to post a loss, I mean, you feel free. That's why it's called profit loss. So it looks like we might be falling below town here. We're... Looks like it wants to just go below 10, to be honest with you. RSI is oversold on the one. RSI is almost oversold on the five. Almost oversold on the 15. Bouncing a little bit here. <laughs> Jonas, don't uh, hope and pray a, a Malaysian billionaire is going to pop in. <laughs> don't pray. Don't hope that, man. It's going to screw you if you hope that. Dude, I always get these P P O S S chain spam comments. Such a scam. They'll post like a hundred of them at a time, hundred comments. GCT made a run back to 30 and then went back down. Do the Malaysians rug pull or? Americans rug pulled. I mean, yeah, a lot of Americans. I mean, I did, I did say from the start. It didn't seem like big money was coming into this after we got so many shares pre-ordered. So I always gave what I thought was gonna happen the whole time. And I didn't th I didn't say I think it's gonna hit ten bucks, but I don't think anybody could have predicted that. But when if you watch the beginning and, and we did only and when I did get twenty five, did we halt? Nope. 
when I did get 30 or 53 shares, I was like, hmm, doesn't feel like Megal. Did feel like Megal when it started to open. We started to get them halt ups, but we only got two. Yeah, it did open really nice. Can't deny that. So it wasn't like a, just a straight down open crazy. Just watch the beginning. It was crazy. Everybody was hyped in the beginning. Everybody was up. You can watch the chat replay. I asked how, how many who's up. Everybody said 600% in the beginning. So everybody was up. Oh, halted up. By the way, I did buy at 10. Like I said, I bought at 10. Not at 10, but in the 10 range. Yeah, it's halted up. It didn't hit 10, but it hit, look, it hit 10, 10. I bought like, I think it was 10, 50. All right, let me give you, ex I think it was 10, 70 something. Pretty sure here, I'll give you the exact range. Exact buy, 10, 68. So I didn't buy at 10, but I bought at 10, 68, you know? Jay-Z sold out. Why do people keep saying that? Every time somebody says that, everybody else says, no, you can still buy it. It's hard for me to tell sometimes because I already put in a pre-order, so it doesn't say, it doesn't really tell me. halted up right now Yeah, GCT is the fun most fundamentally best uh, IPO yet. Remember, JD.com owns 12% of it. The company, so. GCT is the best fundamentally out of all these IPOs. This this one was better fundamentally than Magel. It just didn't... If this, pre, if this opened on Friday... Who... With the amount of hype, if this one opened on Friday, couldn't even imagine. I wish I was there for when I, I wish I was there for Magel streaming it. I, I wasn't streaming it at the time, but a lot of the other streamers left when it went down to 60. You know me, I would have stayed the whole time. And it went down to 60, but then ripped to two, 200. And then <laughs> imagine staying for that one. It would have just been just like GCT.
The market cap on this is 500 million right now. The GCT market cap right now is 1.16 billion. Megal market cap 200 million. So Starbucks came down a lot. That's why I bought more at 10 because it was oversold on every indicator. That, so I bought more. Yeah, is it risky? But I mean, obviously it was a good move. Terrence said he made 600% today because he pre-ordered it. So, pre-order gang, get in. We need a whole new pre-order gang. This should this stream should create a whole new pre-order gang. We're resuming. Let's see what we can do. See if it fails again or if it wants to move for for once. Man, this one isn't as strong as others. Getting some action here. Dang, if you brought all this hype to GCT, it would have went to a thousand. Oh, we're moving. Freddy DS had made 875%. Nice, dude. All right, nice little signal there. That means we broke above the super trend. Let's see if we can hold that or nope. Just because you get that doesn't mean it's going to hold above it. Let's get another halt up. How about that? Oh, look, come on. Let's get another halt up. Big volume just came in. Biggest buy volume in a... Almost since the beginning of the day. Big, biggest buy vo biggest volume on the one at least since, since the beginning of the day. Literally. Most volume on the one since the beginning of the day. Most volume on the one since the beginning of the day. See that? Same volume right now that we had when we opened and halted. So I told you that 10 range. If y'all are wondering how these people in chat are saying I'm up 600%, I'm up 300%, it's because they got the pre-order gang. Like right there, pre-order IPOs right there. You use that link, you have to sign up, deposit, you get 12 free stocks. And it's how you get that shares low. Very, very low of these IPOs. Got all that volume, but still not that strong. Yeah, the 13 is There's so many indicators on here, everybody. On Weeble, the platform I just linked. Like, endless. 
You can trade really, really, really well. Yo, Robert Whitaker, welcome in to the Moon Market Supporter Gang. And we're getting some new volume. Yeah, it's four dollars a share. I mean, so was Magels, but that thing went to three hundred and fifty dollars. Not saying this, this well, but just that's how it, these were going for a little bit. But Magel was the one right after HKD, and it was a Hong Kong, and Hong Kong people got in on it. So MAGL was completely different. This had the same statistics. It just wasn't Hong Kong. Had the same flow, it had better revenue, but it wasn't Hong Kong. That's the difference between this and MEGL. If we kind of bounce and consolidate here, we could form a falling wedge, which is bullish. If only if though, let me see, might be too early. Is GEGI continuing to run? Wow, GEGI is 9-3. GEGI is 0 0.0093. Yeah, this one's so weak. That IP is so weak.
I think the the IPOs that had big money f flow in were the two that I played. And this one, the reason I played this one is because the amount of in retail investor hype was just through the fr freaking roof. So that's why the pre-orders, you just had to do it. There was no point in not pre-ordering this one. There's really no point of not pre-ordering this one. But it's not a Friday IPO, and I, and I know Hong Kong money wasn't coming into this, but everybody, everybody was 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 in on this one. But the first first one I played was Magel, huge. That second one, GCT, freaking even bigger. This one, third one, it should be third time's a charm, but apparently third time is not necessarily the charm. Although, you can't really. I mean, it did have a really good open. The open was amazing. It halted up twice. We were hoping for another halt up, but you don't get you don't get what you want. Halted up twice. Went to went from twenty six open to forty six. And I mean, whoever got shares that the four dollar shares on pre order were sitting pretty there. A lot of people were surprised that it even halted up like that at all. A lot of people were surprised. Zia's Pizza! Welcome to the Moon Market Supporter. Can I get some pizza? Can you, is there any way I can get an order of pizza? Come to San Diego. Cool. Do you, is, are you like the owner of a pizza place? Zia's Pizza. What's the next IPO? Next PO, IPO I'm getting on is JZ, ticker J. You just make pizza for your kids. The next IPO is JZ. This, that should be, that should be where big, not Hong Kong money, because it's not a Hong Kong IPO. But it should be bigger money coming into that one because it might, Hong Kong might end up getting on it, but there's no guarantees. It could be China money. And also, the underwriter is literally HKD. The underwriter of Jay Z is literally HKD. They are literally, because they do underwriting, they're literally underwriting Jay Z. And they have a lower float than, than Starbucks and MEGL. Not by much. They have better revenue than Starbucks and MEGL. And um, it's a Friday IPO. So there's, there is a lot more to look forward to. It's halted up again, everybody. Yeah, Jay-Z is different than Star. Jay-Z is a lot different than Star. Different underwriter. This one was this one was decent because I had the underwriter the MEGL underwriter network one, but having HKD as an underwriter has not happened yet since HKD ran, so it's so Jay Z is going to be different than all of them as well. It's going to be another roller coaster. So if I don't stream for the rest of the week and if and if I only make videos, just know that I'm going to be streaming Friday. Maybe I do stream. It just, sometimes I stream on the fly.
currently sitting on a halt up right now, everybody. For my OTC fam, GEGI, 0092 right now. Gonna get a few eyeless orders set for when it drops, if it continues to drop at least. I want, I want, I want my eyeless shares on the low. I want to fill the gap. At least I hope. I would love to see it though. All right, I just literally set three different eyeless limit orders. Yeah, $100 bid. I don't know what that guy's doing. We're open. <clears throat> A lot of people really still like GCT. What the heck? And I still do as well, but it has to be for the right price. That was 25. It did hit that range. I love the fundamentals. And especially if they, uh, um, become a U.S. company. That's their goal. Their goal is to become a U.S. company because they do most of their business in the U.S. 
So that could be a really good company. GCT is already done. It's already pre it's already IPO, dude. Oh, hold on. The next one is Jay Z. This is the next one I'm pre ordering. Is this week on Friday? And this is a China company. And now I'm focusing on this. MEGL gapped up to 8,000% in one day. This one gapped up to 800 or 900%, about 1,000%. So we're getting volume. We're getting volume coming in here. The MACD just starts to move higher. Forza was your best IP because you got all your shares assigned to you. That's why it's so important to pre-order. GG, I hit nine fours. Do, 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 do. HSDT is not a one day play, no. HSDT, speaking of that, it's actually starting to curl up. And trying to break above VWAP HSDT. And it is breaking. It's a really good sign for HSD too. Zia's Peach just said I treat IPOs as a one night stand. Well, we're in power hour right now, so let's see if we can get some power. It's 
See if the power is there for power hour. GCT, you didn't get barely any shares pre-ordered, which was a telling sign of the demand, and you barely got any shares pre-order. It barely gapped up at open, and it dropped it open. So that's a, that was a pretty telling sign for GCT. That, that, that thing was way, way, way low than where it should be. Especially since you know insiders can't buy and early investors can't, I mean, in, insiders can't sell and early investors can't sell that early into an IPO. This is what I usually use for trading, by the way. This is an iPad Pro. Um, it also has a magic keyboard where you can type on it too and it holds it up. But I use this is iPad for trading is really nice. Or I'll just be on my phone if I just need to do a quick one. Or I mean, I'll just do it on my computer like right here. But usually uh, it's easier to trade on a device because you can do the research on your computer and find what you want to buy and then you can buy it on your... What? Well, I... Buy well, an iPad over a laptop. Uh, I do have a laptop too, but I just like the iPad. It's so quick. It's so quick. The iPad Pro is so fast. It's unbelievable. And I use my laptop for my scanner. That's why that I share with everybody in the Discord. My scanner is shared with everybody. For anybody wondering uh, where the heck and why the heck we're talking about HSDT so much is because where is the video? It was just covered, wasn't it? And well, I know it was covered, but this video was it. Yes, it was. Fifteen thousand views on the video. It was a it was a GCT overview, where I also covered this IPO to pre-order basically. But it was just covered. Now it's up twenty five percent. See. It was deep into the video because I did, because the GCT DD that came out, it was, yeah, it was after the huge run, but it was such a good DD that I couldn't hold it back from all of you. And especially since we all banked of, uh, you know, 300%, 200, 300% on it, had to get the DD. And uh, it was 11 minutes into the video, yeah, but. It was there, it was only it was only the second stock. You know? They had the, more cash than their entire market cap, 75 cent. They com they closed a 75 cent per share offering this month. Gap filled to the upside at one dollar is just at one dollar great uh great ortex data three hundred percent cost of borrow. Just like really good setup. And then GEGI again covered. Even down here, even again, when it was down 13% at 0069, now it's up to 0094 now. And that was, this was just a recent one of covering GEGI because it was down and I knew it was time to get back in. But now G, or S, S, T, B, X. Like I said earlier in the stream, everybody, you got to do what you got to do with your with your stocks. If you want to get the heck out of anything at a loss, feel free to, man. There's always going to be another banger. If you want to hold, you hold. You do what you do with your own positions. Never be afraid to sell at a loss if you're trading. 
and this is a trading play but also don't sell at a loss when you're just panicking and then it goes right back up for example <laughs> Keith Ray I see you in there And HSDT is ripping. Pass a VWAP. <laughs> Adrian's the down pat. <laughs> nah. He's just, you know. I think my air fryer just broke Randy J. That's that'd be a yikes. That would be a massive yikes. Just slap it hard as you can. Slap it as hard as you can. You can't completely doubt a second day IPO because you know what J GCT did. GCT ripped, absolutely ripped 250, almost 300% the next day. But this is not GCT at all, so we got to keep that in mind. Do, 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 do. The strength is di just not there. It's just not there right now. AMC is down 8%. Holy. AMC is below 10 bucks. That's crazy. I guess, 
You know how Adam Aaron said AMC and Ape will probably be at the same price? Well, I guess it was AMC that was going to go down to the price of Ape, not Ape that was going to go to the price of AMC. Yeah, Spy is down today. Elena said it's an evil world we live in. You're not wrong. But there's also good in the world too, so it's not that bad. It's not as bad as people out, out to make it be, to be honest with you. Really not. I guess it also depends where you live too. We'll see what it does in the after hours. You can't get your hopes up though. Like I always been saying in the beginnings of all these streams, expect anything. Be prepared mentally for a crash. That's that's what I said in the beginning. Be prepared mentally for anything. Isn't that crazy GGI is at zero zero nines? Almost one cent. No, it didn't halt again. Is HSDT still moving? Yep, and it's, yeah. About a high of the days. About a high of the days for HSDT. Well, in the video where we initially covered Starbucks, the two stocks that weren't Starbucks absolutely ripped, and if you pre-order Starbucks, you're still up. So, I mean, two out of three, I'd say 2.5 out of three on that video. Because we keep forgetting the fact of how much it ripped in the beginning. It was really up to you whether you took wanted to take profit or not. That's the thing. It's I can't really like tell you guys when to sell because it's a lose lose for me. If I tell if I say sell and it crashes then you're going to blame me because I, t I said I'm selling. And if I say sell and it keeps going, then you're going to blame me because it kept going. So it's a complete lose-lose for me to tell you when to do what. You know? But yeah, HSDT run is, is really awesome. I mean, we... We covered that news right off the bat this morning on HSDT. They gave a $5 price target, and they also gave a buy signal on HSDT. Yeah, when I talk, when I'm talking about like that, uh, who said that? No notary. I'm just selling. I'm just like giving people an idea of why I do certain things. You know what I mean? On guarded truth, what are your thoughts on ILST? Oh, I still have shares of ILST. It hit sevens recently. And uh, I'm still waiting for the merger. What is it at today? Zero zero six seven still up there. Still still decently up there. Getting decent move here. Decent move. Starbucks is number one trending. Number seven most active and number two most watchers on stock twits. As you can see, number one trending. Seven most active. Number two most watchers. HSDT is number eight most new watchers. I'll have to add on to that. 
Lush. There's a dude in the Discord, ZM, in the uh, ZM, Mikael, Cheap, St. Lion, um, Elite, Patrick, Pretty Hala, Ford Billionaire, all stockballers, all every single day giving good calls as well. Really, really good calls. We even have crypto signals that fly in there. You think if you are interested in becoming a stock baller on the Discord, you got to be active. And you have to prove to me that you can make decent calls. I just removed somebody's access to a single Discord channel. GGI 9.4 as well. Still doing its thing. You said your name was Alex Stein? Yes. Okay, thank you. What I'm saying is these casinos give people free drinks and then they become vulnerable and end up gambling more money than they have. Yeah. And I was the victim of that. And I lost a lot of money. And I'm facing a lot of issues right now. My wife's boyfriend recently got her pregnant. And I'm here for a church event um, speaking for, I'm a member of the Church of Scientology. And I don't normally drink, but I'm very vulnerable. I'm in a position now where I don't know what I'm going to do because financially, I'm going to have to- More like shower hour. Potentially, because he's out on parole right now. And we hit a new high on HSTT, nice. A long time in jail. 73 so cents. Potentially, 
I'm going to have to financially support this baby. And I come to Las Vegas for a work event, and I get fed alcohol, and I get entirely way too intoxicated. I go to the ATM. I use my credit card. They make it very accessible to be able to gamble with my credit card. You know this, Mary Goodman. They make it absolutely incredibly accessible, Councilman, to be able to take all I have. And now i got to go back to Clearwater, Florida, and I have nothing. So after this, after I start drinking, I'm... I'm, I'm <laughs> I'm very, I'm very distraught. And the one good thing about this city, I will say, the one good thing is, I, of all the cities I've been to, it's the first city last night at 4 a.m. I saw multiple people on Fremont Street taking the vaccine. Drop a comment right now if you're NGEGI uh, or if you've watched it rip and missed it. And that's here in Las Vegas. I saw or if you just know of it. So it's been literally ripping. But the vulnerability of the tourists that come here, like myself, it, you're preying on people like me. And then I end up meeting a nice Filipino girl. I take her back to my hotel room. Come to find out, I, I cost money for her service to come to my room. So and some people are. I, I, I end up having a, a good time. We start kissing. I know this isn't like an OTC stream, but she has, she has more people in the Discord are in it. There's a whole room for it. She's a transgender. Mary Goodman. Excuse me. This is, we're in a public venue, and I think. Please, could you, please, excuse me. Could you please be calm and whatever. I mean, it's up so much now, so. Please. I'm not saying they're goodbye at these levels, but. Man, it's been ripping. So I didn't fill that gap yet. The gap on the hourly is at a dollar, but if you look at the daily, there's a wick at 86 cents. So look for 86 cents gap fill first on HSDT potentially, and then a dollar. GEGI might want to, like, it might close at high of the day. It's so strong. If it closed at high of the day, have you while. EDP is crazy cheap. What's the update on that one getting delisted? Is it is I don't think it is, right? Or is it? Cause the only reason I say that is because I got a notification on my on my platform that they got it. They might be getting delisted. Is VTGN finally moving? 
Yeah, this was on the watch list. Nice, nice. Oh, wow. They spiked out of nowhere. Multiple insider buy buys over one million shares. Past few days. BTGN. This was on the watch list in the Discord. I reply, I, I get back to as many, once you get on Patreon and get in the Discord, I reply to as many Discord messages as possible. So, join the Patreon and then I'll respond to you in the Discord. Hard to get back to every single one of them, but I do. See what Starbucks can do getting into the end of the day here. Moon's demeanor has been crushed? What you mean, dude? I'm completely fine. Shut up, dude.
We'll see what happens going to the end of the day here. We're 20 minutes away from market close. It's going to be in. It's going to be all these IPOs are always crazy after hours. You never know what can happen. It's going to be big if we can get strong into the uh, close. Guys, when I don't say by the way, when I'm when I'm not talking for a second, I'm looking into stuff so then I can talk about it. I'm not just sitting there for no reason. I said Elon Musk tweeted like it's a the huge event. I guess it could be if he says something. What did he say, man? Give it a little whistle. Uh, he didn't really tweet anything. So we're getting strong into close here. Remember, I bought in the 10 range. So, see what happens after hours. Nice pop. One OTC to mention. That I've been talking about for a while is WLAN. They're pink limited right now, but they might getting, be getting pink current soon. The, either this week or next week. I put a bunch of eyeless orders in today for a much lower price than the current price. Because I'm really hoping that gap fills so I can pick up a bunch down there and let it slingshot to the moon. So we're getting strong here for SDBX into close. Getting strong here into close. RSI is getting high on the one. Let's look at the five. RSI is only 47 on the five. The volume is kicking in big time here. The most volume, we're about to hit the most volume of the entire day, even in the beginning of the day. We're trending upwards on the MACD currently. Still strong into close here. Getting into close.
N nice move here. Just about a double bottom that we formed there, which is a bullish pattern you can see. Double bottom right here, so. Um, hold on, let me. <laughs> That's funny. I have, an, I have a folder that says Elon Musk. I forget what this, what's even in that, to be honest. So... As you can see... Double bottom, boom. We didn't hit all the way on the back down there, but it's still it's still a double bottom. See, bullish, boom. That's like the exact pattern. Boom, bop, boom, bop. And then hopefully we continue higher. <clears throat> Bearish would be the exact opposite if we went like boom, 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 back down. This we go boom, 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 back up. You see that? Doesn't mean you always continue high and high and high. This could be the completion of the double bottom, but uh, it is a double bottom. There's a bullish pattern. You gotta, you gotta be able to recognize those patterns as much as possible, just naturally. This is the most volume we've got the whole day, the past two uh, five minute candlesticks. Everybody, we're at 125,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't already, go ahead and smack that subscribe button right now for the Moon Market Channel. So my 10, 1070 buys right now are at 15 now. Not terrible. We did say that 10 level though, right? I put that, I put that, uh, we'll have it at 991 for some reason, but let me put it at 10. Can't get it exactly on freaking 10. There we go. Isaac said 50% gain moon market. Not terrible. <laughs> Man, I would love Islas to hit all my buy orders that I have set up. Ooh, if I would be juiced up, really juiced up. I'd be feeling like a juicy bastard if Islas hit all my buy orders. Ronbo in the chat, Eyeless at five cents, yummy. Yeah, seriously. Well, that's literally what I have a few set up.
How are you doing, Rambo? Trying to get up this uh, super trend right now. I get past this super trend. Chilling with the scotch, of course. If you're enjoying that, Ronba. Oh. Breaking the super trend right now. It's at 16. I wonder if we get a halt up here. Oh, it's getting, it's getting close to a halt here, I think. Oh. We're breaking above this resistance. See, like that, that could easily be a halt up, I think. Alrighty, here we are. See if we can hold. See that double bottom? That's literally like a, the. That's literally a double bottom. Exactly. Yeah, it didn't hit exactly back down where it previously was, but it's still a double bottom. Broke highest volume view up. A good sign. Let's go. Rombo's chart in the chat. Also subscribe to him. Everybody, Rombo's chart in the in the chat right there. Subscribe to him. He's really. One of the best charters that I've met, ever met. Alibaba highs. I wonder if that helps any of these IPOs. See, like, I mean, I don't care if they halt it or not, as long as they, hopefully it, it continues higher, but I mean, a halt ups are not bad. It can usually mean continuation even higher. And I just don't see how that wasn't. But it just wasn't enough volume. It wasn't, no, it wasn't volatile enough. So I do understand as well. We're getting closer to, we're breaking above this. This is the strongest it's been all day, to be honest, except for the beginning of the day. By far the strongest it's been all day right now. We're getting, the VWAP is close. So that's gonna be our next point. This is definitely the, the most it's held all day. So let's see what, what, what it can do. Wow, GEGI is at 0, 0, 0097. Wow. It really might just hit a penny. I t that's what I was saying. I think I, I it felt like it was going to just fin close it high of the day, and it's going to. It, it holds all its gains. It's crazy strong. People are buying it like a lot. I know it's a lot of retail, but man, like people are not selling at all, which is perfect for a runner like this. Wow. GEGI is the most, one of the most impressive double zero OTCs I've seen in forever. Tweeting about GEGI just because I'm streaming STBX, so there's no point of tweeting about it as well. HSDT strong, strong today. So, you know, STBX might have not done what we wanted it to. To the T, but. It's 
gonna be interesting after hours for sure. I and indeed just about ready to average up. Yep, plus they have a buyback, uh, which is gonna be huge for a company with that kind of share structure. And it's just a great, they're gonna be making so much money in the long run. It's, it's really not an OT, it really shouldn't be an OTC company, it's just their share structure is so big. I know in the future, I, with that FDA passage of the over-the-counter over the counter hearing aids, they're going to be making a lot of money. They already do make decent money, but they're going to be making a lot. W, wait, no, WLAN back, uh, back at 005, up 4%. That's just holding strong. That's so, it's so loaded and locked for if the, if the company starts dropping news for WLAN. And if it's good, it can really, really run. Bark, look out, starting to form the upside of the handle. Let me check it. Oh, yep, I see that. Are you, are you, what time frame are you looking at? Cup and handle here. Or are you looking at a much bigger time frame, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah, 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 I see it. Yep. Ronbo in the chat is, is very bullish. Yeah, I see it. Um, Ronbo in the chat is very bullish on Bark. I took a little bit. So I have that... I probably have, I should probably be taking more based on the fundamental or not not on the fundamentals of the chart here. So Bronbo is bullish on Bark, everybody. People on Twitter trying to swing trade this. Don't always listen to what people on Twitter do. You might. You can get ideas, but don't just like blindly believe. You can oh, always get ideas though, from it. And then take that what you will. But yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see. I'm taking mine overnight. Okay, we're in after hours right now. So, let's see. Yeah, that is a really good cup and handle though, Aranba. That is, oh, that is a really good cup and handle. Especially when you, yeah, that's looking really good. It's been forming for a few months here. You see that everybody, like we were talking about on the smaller time frame, but this is a much bigger time frame. And the handle here. For example, let me show you. For anybody new. Always can refer back to, you know. Is it on? No, it's not on here, but. For anybody new. So. Cup and handle here, you can see. Big cup, huge cup, which is good. And then starts to form the handle. And you basically, you know, use your trend lines. Hold on. But it's still it's still forming. But you see the you see the deal. Let's see what we gotta look at Starbucks after hours. All right, it's moving. I keep on accidentally saying Starbucks when I literally know it's Starbucks. So if I say that by accident, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's 
See if we can get a nice move here after hours. What stock is forming the cup? It already formed a huge cup. Bark. B-A-R-K. Rombo here that has hit some big old runners. One of his biggest ones that I remember was SPRT. Off of pure... That one was off of pure charting. Rombo found SPRT back in the day off of pure charting. And then after he found it, through, you know, looking at the chart for a while, it picked up on Twitter, but he already knew it because it, he charted it way before. It picked up on Twitter and then people bought it, but it was going to run anyway. So the fact that it was going to run anyway and people got in on it and it got hyped made it even crazier. So that, that's what he, that's a, that was a huge one. It ran from like, what did that even run from? It's, uh, it's a different ticker. Well, I think they changed their ticker. But Rambo found it, like, literally. Literally back at 2. Or, like, yeah, like, 2 or 3. And around a 59. Like, that was wild. Yeah, SVRT is green now. Yep. But I still typed it in and I found it, though. What was up with that? GEGI closed at high of the day, 0 0.0097. Remember, OTCs don't trade after hours. <sighs> wow. That GEGI run is crazy. And we're doing an interview still this week. I still need to confirm the time, and I'm, and I'm doing it too. I'm part of it. And, and, and Kit said, I'm at 54% of GEGI. Ronbo said 690 to 60. Yeah, that was an insane move. Yeah, SPRT went from 15 to 60. Some people found it at 2, 3, 6. A lot of people found it at 15, 10, 15, and then it ran, just kept going. Clearly, you're never going to get out of the top or get in the, at the bottom of any, any play. That's why you, you know, scale in, scale out. Ex-captain said, you're loving the all-day streams. Thank you. Not guaranteeing there's going to be all-day streams again. Well, there will be, but not like every single day. Just saying. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream tomorrow. Now, I, I might wake up and decide to, but right now I'm not planning it. I'm not planning a stream tomorrow like I have been. But I know you all love, love the streams. Yeah, I'm definitely streaming Friday. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, you can be really good at buying the top and so uh, uh You're really good at buying the top and selling at the bottom. Hopefully you don't do that.
those GEGI002 uh, 7 and 8 buys that I had that I showed you all are looking really good right now. <clears throat> I'll show you. I'll show you my some of my GEGI buys. Really good right now. It's been carrying my OTC portfolio past few weeks. Along with a few others. So here we go. I don't know why I put in like really small orders on a few of these. But. Here they are. So. Always wish I bought more obviously, but can't really do anything about it. 32k at 0026, 241k at 0026, 15k at 0026, 60k at 0026, 500k at 34, 50k at 43, 250k at 43, 500k at 44, 250k at 68, 250k at 68. That was on the recent dip, so my recent GEG I buys. It's an OTC stock, by the way, for anybody that does not know. Ooh. Oh, it's a D list. You can trade OTC on Fidelity, E-Trade, Schwab, IBKR. <clears throat> We're streaming the Jay Z IPO on Friday. The Jay Z IPO. I personally think he can be bigger than this. I think he has better potential than this for sure. So Friday IPO, the A AMTD is the is the underwriter. AMK AMTD H A K H K D ticker H K D is the underwriter. QH.
Anybody is interested in joining the private discord? We have stock chat. Hold on. What are these guys talking about in here? Oh God, I'm deleting these. What the heck, man? <laughs> Sorry, y'all had to see that. All right, everybody in the Discord, calm down with the guests, man. Seriously, it's already it's already too many. There's too many guests. All right, I'm banning you, dude. I'm I'm sorry, you're banned. You're you did too much, Captain Curran. I had to ban you from the from the eyeless room. I just had to, dude. You had to get banned. You broke every single rule there is to exist. So, if you break every single rule there is to exist, you get banned. Besides that, we have server alerts. We have moon stock alerts. All my stock alerts. Moon's long alerts. Stock baller calls, which is going crazy. Stock chat. But yeah, that guy broke every rule. If you break the rules, you do get banned. This Discord... I mean, we have this whole, like, bot section, too. That's this... These bots cost $200 a month. Golden sweeps. Scalp, stock breakouts, option sweeps, stark pull, bullseye. You know, you can use trade analytics bot, heat map, the net market flow. I mean, this has so many commands. So... I mean, the profit recently was huge. 350% on all these. Like, scrolling for days on that. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to ban that guy, but he broke every single rule to exist. So if you're, if you're breaking rules in the Discord, you get banned, and then you... Is what it is, man. Other than a troll every now and then, it's, in my opinion, the best Discord out there, by far. Y'all are going crazy. I don't really mind the the stuff in the Discord. Like, sometimes you have to have fun. I don't mind it all, but sometimes you gotta, you gotta know when to take a chill pill.
Is Jay Z gonna just sh gonna shoot just off the power of the name? No, it's not. <laughs> it's a meme name. Don't get me wrong, but it's not just that. It's a lot to do with the underwriter to China IPO, not a Hong Kong, but a China IPO. Unfortunately, if it was a Hong Kong, it would be probably massive, but it is a China IPO. Um, the underwriter, the person, the company that's facilitating the, the IPO is HKD and HKD is the IPO that got all this off the ground got all these I IPOs hyped. The float's good. A lot, all these IPOs have low float, so it's not really, that's not really, the, the GCT float was the best, so that was different. We're up 4% after hours right now. But Jay-Z, yeah, the, the revenue's good, the float's good, the underwriter's on point. Just having it there. The, the fact that HKD is underwriting the IPO is pretty wild because they ran 10,000% on their own IPO recently. So that's pretty interesting. So that's going to be a big... T that Jay-Z IPO is going to be a big telling sign to how we go forward with the rest of these IPOs because Starbucks, it, was, it wasn't bad. I mean, the hype was there. The move in the beginning was good. Uh, it's still not over yet, necessarily. We have to give it one more day. If it tanks the next day, it's obviously, you know, it's over. But Jay-Z is going to be a big telling sign to how we're going to move forward with IPOs. And also to how the future IPOs will, will be. But it should be a big one. You can still pre-order pre it on Weeble. Ticker JZ. I already pre-ordered it.
And yeah, like I said, everybody, you want to hop on the next pre-order banger? I mean, we got shares at four. It went to 40, whatever. There's a pre-order link. Sign up right now, with deposit. And the good thing about using that link instead of anything else is you get 12 free stocks after you sign up. Might as well get free stocks. So hop on the pre-order train right now. You could get Starbucks shares at four bucks, even though, yeah, it's 15 now, but it went to 46. All right, everybody, this is about time to end the stream right now. It was a really, really good stream. Really good stream overall. Uh, it didn't, I wouldn't say it didn't go planned because we expect anything on this channel. Obviously we would we would have wanted to see a rip, but there's always tomorrow. Just watch out tomorrow if it really starts dipping. It might be over, but if it, we'll, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I might hop on stream. We'll see exactly what I want to do. Um, join the Discord, hop in the Discord, and hop on the IPO gang over there on Weeble. Alrighty, everybody. Thanks for coming out. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And before I hop out, just let me give you a quick example of how to turn on the notification bell. So, for example, Full Send Podcast. You click that subscribe button, click that, boom. You get all my videos, streams, and everything in the future. Alrighty, everybody. Y'all have a good night.